We are live. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Happy Saturday. Happy freaking middle of the weekend. Hope you're doing good. Crazy UFC fight coming today, coming at us. I don't know if anybody's going to watch it, but I'm pretty excited. Um, so today we have an amazing flight that was sent to me by Matt over at the Whiskey Crusaders. And he is going to be kind of guiding us through Isla, which I'm pretty excited about. I haven't had, I don't think I've had any of these drums except for one. And some of the distilleries I haven't experienced yet before. So very, very, very excited. Let me say hi to some people in chat and then we'll bring Matt on. Okay. We got IC86. The like button has been smashed. Thank you so much. Whiskey Crusaders Matt is already in. Hanging out. <laughs> we got Steve who is over on the Patreon pregame. The stream hasn't happened. <laughs> How do you know you like it? <laughs> right. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta wait till we're at least five minutes in. <laughs> Uh, Trevor, Kunk Trevor Kunkel, what's up, everybody? Hey, how's it going? We got Mike Franklin. All the all the regular patrons are in. John De La Cuisine, Karen Scott. We got Alan Newlin. Hi, I think that's a new name. Hello. We got Pete Head Frank. Hello. Harvesting wheat in Northwest Ohio. Wow. Well, that's cool. And then we've got John. McElwain. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Hi, that's a new name as well. You're probably over from the freaking crazy uh, Aquavite thing that's happened over the last couple days. <laughs> oh, Taryn Scott has a good question. What is that in everyone's glass? I would like to know. Hi, May. Not Jamie. Hello, hello. DJ Beacon is in the house liking some of the Isla stuff. Okay, all right. Kevin Campbell, another patron. Cheers, folks. We just got a new patron today. Uh, so we got Amy Bohm, Dave Babcock, and then we got Curtis Campbell. So another Campbell is in the Patreon family. So welcome to everybody that just joined on Patreon. All right, guys. I think we're ready. We're only a couple minutes in, but we're just going to get going. The laddie is in my dream. Good job. <laughs> oh, JV, sorry. Just want to say... First time here as well. Oh, so, so nice to have you in. Andrew Butler, hello. Wow, you guys, Siddick Finnick? <laughs> Hopefully I'm saying that right. Or Sid Finnick, yeah. Uh, gonna pour some Brucati Isla Barley 2011. Wonderful. Okay, guys. Matt, are you ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Okay. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Good, how are you? Thanks for having me on. Oh, I'm doing so good. Thank you so much for sending me this flight. I'm so no excited. <laughs> try to let you try a bunch of stuff you've never had. So this is a good yeah. way to do it. Yeah, no, I'm excited. So um, everybody, if you don't know Matt over at Whiskey Crusaders, he is one third of the Whiskey Crusader team. And I left his link for his channel uh, in the description box below. So if any of my mods want to put that into the chat, go over, give them a subscribe. They do tons of whiskey reviews, liqueur reviews, everything. Uh, in between. So yeah, just go over and check out their channel. They're almost at 2.5 thousand subs. So it'd be cool if we can get them there by the end of the stream. That would That'd be, be awesome. great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Let me just get in chat and then we'll jump into the Oogadal is the stuff. Okay. We've got uh, Corey Vrecken tonight. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm excited about that one. We've got Lito Cortez. Steve A's on a Kalila six year. All right. Oh, mm. there's construction going on. Uh, oh. in my house if you guys were wondering awesome. so sorry about that my husband uh decided to have somebody come over on a saturday even though he knows that i do live streams on a saturday so, so <laughs> it was so great <laughs> uh oh mike meyer saying hey matt so that's awesome uh jaime says matt has like one million bottles i would oh, say that's pretty that accurate <laughs> <laughs> cool okay so i you're you're just leading us through isla today so just yeah. let me know which one you want to start with. And we'll well, I think we'll start with Kalila 12 because it's, you know, it's 43%. It's kind yeah. of your, it's by far the most sold of all the Isla whiskeys by far. Mm -hmm. Most of it goes in blends. Uh, it's the yeah. base for Johnny Walker. Uh, most of it's in most of those. It's in tons of other blends. But yeah, this sells by far more. Only, and I think only 99% of it's blends. 1% goes into their actual single malt. So you don't see a lot of them. So actually, this is one of the few that's peated. They make, others are, others are unpeated, which is kind of funny. 
Those oh, three goes in the blinds. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yes. so cool. They're 18s unpeated. They're 15s unpeated. Oh, wow. So, but they're hard to find. But uh, yeah, the 12 you can usually get pretty easily, thank God. Uh, but have you had this before? Is this the, was this the one you've had or just the one you've not had? I have not had this. This is my oh. first ever uh, Khalil. Perfect. So. Well, that's good. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah there's you... all sorts of cool stuff from these guys. But yeah, they're, uh, you know, like I said, they're the big boys. They're, you know, obviously Diageo owned all that fun stuff. So but yeah, they're one of the uh, the class. They're not technically a classic malt, but they might as well be. They're in everything. So, right, right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm interested to see what you think of this. And so which of all these, which is the one you have had before? Okay. So I've had, let's see. Oh, okay. So I haven't had any of these. Oh, except for the Lagavulin Nick oh. Hoffman edition. That's the yeah. only one. <laughs> the one yeah. that I have the bottle of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why we're um, stuck with that one. And then everything else. So I haven't had anything from the Kalila Distillery. And then right. I've had something from all of the other distilleries, but not what you sent me. So it'll be a new Perfect. experience. So. All right. Well, yeah. I'm excited to see what you think of this. I'm pretty excited. But yeah, this is the uh, oh, up on the coast in Port Asig, which is where this is on the eastern side of Isla. So mm -hmm. it's this is the much more, not so much the, this is the, it's not medicinal like Lafroig is. I tell this is the, it's not even clean like Lagavulin. It's just the, it's the workhorse peat to me. That's what it smells like to me. It's just more like oh, a gasoline type. It's funny because, so um, I just, I, I like to wrap my head around all the drams before I actually go on a live. So I just wrote yeah. a couple of like little notes for each one. <laughs> and uh, on on Kalila, I said, like Lafroy and Lagavulin had a baby. <laughs> like it's, it's not odd. either of them, but it kind of has these similar things to both of those. So yeah, I, it's, not, it's not a bad, it's not a bad idea at all. We can combine them later and see if it's true or not. I know. Yeah. I'm kind of interested. It'll be fun. Oh, the, the thing at the end will be great when we combine all of them together at the end. That'll be Gosh. my favorite. <laughs> I've never done that, I think, before. So, of all these uh, islands, so this should be Let's fun. Do it. Let's There's do it. a lot of high proof stuff here towards the end, awesome. too. Yeah, so this is 43%. You know, it is obviously a chill filter, all that fun stuff, unfortunately, but yeah, it is yeah. what it is. But yeah, well, now once you get up to the 18, which is unpeated, that's 120 proof, something like oh, that. Wow. It's, and it's awesome. Oh, that is awesome. But I didn't want to send you unpeated since you asked for Pete specifically how to make sure. Yeah, I wanted to kind of get used. I, yeah. I wanted to get to know Pete, so this is cool. Yeah. I think mission's accomplished on that after we're done. For today. sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little used to it. Actually, I had a a, a flight with uh, Bubble Bath Bourbon. Yeah. And he sent me a Connemara. No. And I was like, I can't, I'm not getting any peat on this. Like, mm. maybe a little bit, but I'm, I was getting so used. That's all I was drinking was peated whiskey. Oh, so I was yeah. Peated whiskey reviews and then peated Thank live you. streams. And I just got too used to it. So yeah, you got to switch in some space on some Highlands that are unpeated. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing that like, the last uh, the last couple or like week week and a half now. So it's I'm getting I'm getting peed on this, which is good. <laughs> That's good. Yes, it's all it's all gonna get higher from here. Yeah. All right. Mm mm mm. Mm. Good. That's really good. I really and, like that. Yeah, and that's why it's the blend. That's why it's in so many blends because it's just mm -hmm. a nice, easy P. It's not high, high PPM. It's you know, like yeah. 12, something like that. Um, but it's nice. Mm -hmm. It's clean. It's easy to drink. It's just it's a really nice, easy uh, going. It's, a, it's also a good intro to peat for a lot of people because it's not crazy peated. Yeah. But it and it's a little bit cleaner and easier to handle. Yeah, I really like it, and it's it's cool because it's got. For 12 years old, I wouldn't think it would have, I mean, it doesn't have a crazy amount of wood spice, but I actually mm. got quite a bit of wood spice on the palate. I thought it was kind of nice, like a, a nice little mm -hmm. balance, so. Yeah, these, you know, obviously it's, this is all ex-bourbon, but yeah, it's good yeah. stuff. Oh, uh, Justin Jonasson, hey, we got Donner Pass Whiskey. I'm pretty sure Tim just got a 10 of 10 on Aquavitae's last live stream, so congrats nice. on, the, on the quiz score. That is impressive. All the PPMs tonight. Yes, John. It's a screw. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what all of them are. I can't, I haven't memorized them all. Sorry, there's too many damn either. things. Yeah. I haven't nerded out that much yet. I'm sure right. at some point in time I'll get there, but not yet. Yeah, I don't think I could remember all the peats. I mean, just for the, the review, yes, but not like off the top yeah. of my head. I mean, yeah. I, I guess I assume everyone knows what Pete is, but I guess we should probably discuss Pete just in case people don't know what Pete is or, or sure, where Isla sure. is. I mean, you know, Isla obviously is in 
on Scotland on the western side. It's an island on its own. It's own region. Pete is millions of years to Kang Moss in Isla's case. Uh, dug up was into little bricks and burned because there's no trees there. So it's too damn windy, and they burn it, and it, everything smells like it there pretty much because you use a firewood, you use it to obviously make your make your uh, peat, your malts, all those fun things. Now, obviously, they're unpeated malts, but at the time, especially 100 years ago, everything is peated because there was no other choice. Yep, yeah. So. yeah. There was no industrialized environment to be able to <laughs> do anything else but peat. So. Exactly. Yeah. Um, oh, and, and so many, so many new faces, guys. There's just so many. So Nate Weidel says, sup, y'all? Hello. Donner Pass Whiskey. Have you picked up any subs since Roy's Thursday stream uh, when the summer VPUB was announced? Yes. <laughs> I've gotten like 100 subs in the last two days, which Sweet. never happens. Like, I get like max like 10 in a week. <laughs> so uh, if you guys don't know. Roy from Aquavite has a VPUB or virtual pub. It's his live stream that he does on Thursdays and he's going on summer break. So I thought it would be fun if I would do a summer VPUB. So that's what I'm doing. That's what Tim's talking about here. So we're going to be doing fun topics. The first topic is going to be blended malt versus single malt. And we're going to do a little semi-blind flight with that and just kind of talk about it. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited, a little bit nervous, but I think it'll, I think it'll be good. So but to answer your question, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Roy. <laughs> uh, Whiskey Nose is in chat. New channel. He says, hey, Whiskey Crusaders. Matt. Hey, Marty. How's it going? I was trying to see. So who was it said they found a scorch the other day? I can't remember. Anyway, I saw someone comment in the comments. But yeah, scorch for 130 is a good deal. So oh, if nice. you still uh, go back and find it, if it's still there, you should go back and buy it. You won't be sorry. It's delicious. Cool. All right, so what are you getting on this? So it's like a smidge briny, but not like mm -hmm. super briny. I don't know. It's like, like yeah, I said, right. it's kind of that mix between Lagavulin and Laphroaig. It's got this like drier, a drier thing going on, and then mm -hmm. a little bit of that brine. Yeah, it's got a nice light saltiness. Definitely that ocean spray is definitely in there for sure. Yeah. But obviously, you know, it's it's not very far. None of the uh, islas are very far from the ocean, so. Right, right. Since you're all on the coast. Yeah, I think. Except for Cahoman. What is it? Yeah, Cahoman is the only one I think that is. Yeah, it's not. not? Yeah, yeah, they're in the middle, more or less. Yeah. But yeah, this is nice. Of course, there are a lot of them are in Dunnages and all that fun stuff too. So. Right. Somewhere like a hundred yards from the ocean, so it gets really nice and wet in there, and moss yeah. grows, and it's beautiful. I think one thing that I noticed when I was first smelling all these just to kind of get my head wrapped around them is I'm not experienced enough yet to like they didn't they all smelled different but I couldn't necessarily articulate exactly why they were different I think I need to uh, I have my little nosing kit and there's a section for Pete that I just haven't gotten mm. into and I need to to kind of pick out like oh what is this what is this you know so I've noticed that I'm with this flight especially how inexperienced I am with these drams um, or these types of drams. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this will uh, this will solve that problem for you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then in what th what three weeks? I guess then we'll go into American Pete, and it'll just all jack you up. I'm so excited about that. So yep. I mean, most of it obviously is imported from Scotland, but either way, it's still American barley mixed with Scottish peat. So pretty cool. Yeah, it'll be entertaining. Oh, oh yeah, Steve. Thanks for letting me. Thanks for reminding me. So, uh, like time, Julie like and Dan like are going live right after our stream, like uh, seven fifteen. So mine ends around seven. She's going live at seven fifteen. So uh, we'll try to get off right right before then, um, maybe even a little bit before then. Uh, but he, Steve, just left a link to that live stream. So if you guys want to have a little after party, like time is is doing it. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, I really like this one though. It's nice. Yeah, if you like this, like I said, it's only gonna get better from here. I know. I'm like, this is the beginning already. <laughs> I'm very this happy. Is <laughs> this, this is the weakest one of, of all. I mean, but more is the same, but uh, proof wise. But yeah. Yeah. Other than that, they just keep going up and up and up. Uh... Oh, and you, yeah, you're more than welcome to read off comments, Matt. Oh, okay. Yeah. 100% Mustard says that he found the Ardbeg Scorches to the non committee for 46 Yeah, I don't think I'd pay 130 for the non committee release. Now, if it's committee release, yes. Non-committee release, no. 
Oh, I haven't yeah. heard the non-committee release, although I know Eric Waite, he reviewed it the other day, and he said that he actually likes the non-committee release better. Oh, wow. So, but I haven't tried it, so I can't. So I usually just like the committee release. Personally, that's always been the case, but I mean, you know, it's obviously a personal choice, but I think that this Scorch is the best one they've done um, in several years. The best is just the one since Dark Cove, and that's just not just me. They've also had this talk with um, Liquor Hound, so, and that's obviously, I don't know if you know who that is, but it's one of the granddads of all of Whiskey Tube. Um, he lives like 25 minutes from me and went over there and compared it to alligator. So yeah, it was quite good. Hold on. Oh, no worries. Um, also just wanted to let everybody know while Matt's on mute. Um, it's a little bit hard for me to be in chat and with him at the same time. So I'll try to get to as many chats as possible. I'll be a little bit more chat focused on the Thursday stream. So apologies if I'm not reading all of the chats tonight. Um, just try to comment at whiskey central, uh, whiskey with no E. Um, and I'll see it a little bit better, and I'll try to read as many comments as possible. Um, but yeah, Jeffrey Black says hello, everybody. Sorry, my kid decided I'm here and she needs to wash her hands in my bar because we don't have any other sinks in our house. <laughs> no worries. I have uh, construction going on in, in, on the outside of my house, so you're you're fine. <laughs> now, yeah, Steve, you're right. The Dark Cove... It by itself is amazing. The non committee release. That's a very good point. That's very true. I would totally agree. That's one of the best wishes there is, especially as a non committee release. Yeah. So um, it might, the score, you know, if, if uh, Eric was saying that the non committee is good, it might be yeah. worth it to give it, it a shot. Be. I don't know. I haven't tried it, so I can't, yeah. I can't comment. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. But. Let's see here. Uh, old man Joe wants to talk about Indian whiskeys. I think Indian whiskeys are really good. I don't know what your experience is with Indian whiskeys. I have never tried any Indian whiskeys. I can't get Amrut down here. I can't get Paul John. I'm super bummed about it. I have not been able to find any. Those blow because they're really good. Yeah. I think all the stuff Amrut and Paul John is really good. Um, Ramporta is pretty good as well. Even some of the cheap stuff like Royal Challenge is not bad or Blue Officer is not, Officer Blue is not bad either. Uh-huh. Which are like fifteen dollar whiskeys. They're not oh, bad. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and I, uh, my husband went up to the states uh, to help his sister with uh, some stuff on her house, and uh, I was like, "Get some Paul John or Amber while you're there." And he could not find any. They were out oh, of everything. And I'm like, "Come on!" <laughs> so, yeah. But I feel oh. like I would like them. Oh yeah, yeah. If you like this stuff, you'd like them. They're different because, but they're still really good. Yeah. The, just the environment they're grown in, and yes, yeah, that that Indian heat is like we call it the uh, age. It's you know, it's the Texas. Like Texas, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like two years there is, in, it, I think it's the equivalent of there. Like two years is like fifteen years in Scotland, something insane oh like that. Yeah, so that's a little crazy, but it's good stuff. Yeah. All right, you ready to move on to Bamore? Let's do it. All right. So, Bamore is one of the oldest distilleries, not just on Isla, it's by far the oldest on Isla, but also the, one of the oldest in Scotland since 1779. So, there's always a debate who's the oldest distillery for a while yeah. to work with them, but really we think it's really actually Little Mill, which was 1772, but these guys are 77. So, if they're number two, still ain't bad. So, this one's 43%. Now, these guys do obviously use coloring based on this. It is sherry, but it's obviously not that dark. Right. Um, but I did choose this one for you because I think you'll like this one better than some of the other ones um, from these guys. But, yes, yeah, so like same thing. Uh, these guys are owned by Beam Suntory. They do a good job. They've been around, obviously, a long, long time. And they, same thing. They get used in plenty of blends. But interested to see if you actually like this one. So <laughs> my first experience with Bowmore uh, was that Bubble Black Bourbon Flight. And I did not like the Bomar 12 that he sent me, like okay. at all. I like I actually disliked it. Which most of the time I'm just like, oh, I don't like this one as much as this one. But yeah. I actually disliked it. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> so did you, did you? Was it a blind flight on that or non-blind? It was blind. It was I had blind. no idea. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't know what it was, and and he it was just peated. I didn't know. I didn't know if it was Isla or if it was you know what. Um, uh. Okay. And I was like, I don't know what this is, but I do not like it. And then it, he was like, this makes sense later when he revealed that it was the 12. So Okay. Yeah. So this yeah. one, you know, 12 years in bourbon, three years in Oloroso to finish it off. Okay. So at least it's got a good three years in there. Yeah. 
Now, obviously, like I said, it is colored, but it's already going to be darker because of the sherry, but I don't think it's quite that dark. Yeah. As we know, they use E-150 and everything, so. So the couple notes that I wrote down, I, I wrote down, like, it's not root beer, but there's, like, this weird burnt sugar. It kind of is reminding me of soda pop for some reason. I don't know if you, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but. <laughs> yeah, I would say this is more like sarsaparilla. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe that's why I said root beer. That and like birch beer, a combination of those two. Yeah. Yeah, there's this kind of funky note on it. Um, uh, it does have a lot of the sherry must on it too. It does have a yeah. lot of that. There's no doubt it's super nutty and almonds and walnuts. But it's also got a lot of marzipan in it. A little bit of chocolate. People are talking outside my house. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It's all good. They're, we're like, we're going to do it. Is she going to be mad about the hole in the wall? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. This morning. So probably TMI, but just when I'm getting my hair ready, yeah. my hair always doesn't look very good. But what I do to make it look a little bit better is I like hang upside down on my bed after I get out of the shower. And so I was hanging upside down and you can't move. Like you have to stay there for the whole time. Yeah. And of course the workers got there and then my husband was like, oh, we need to ask you like what you want with this and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, dang it. <laughs> so yeah, it was not a good day Super. to the workers over, but. <laughs> oh. The child is running wild in Matt's house. Well, she ate pancakes that had butterscotch in them. So she's now crazy. Mm. And probably syrup on them. Yes, that too. So. Mm. And she's, she's uh, bothering her sister, so it's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. And of so course, I that one. Of this one. <laughs> <laughs> just while Matt's talking to them, I, I just had a sip of this, and there's certain there's a certain part that I like, and I think it's the sherry, but there's this <laughs> kind of a little bit of burnt sugar or something on there that is like, there's a weird flavor on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, now the best one I think I've had from them is actually a 10 year that's cast strength. That's amazing. Ooh, I bet that'd be good. It reminds me a lot of some of the like really nice older um, Cooley Irish. And it's usually really good. Okay. This one is good, but it's more basic. And I figured if you could maybe like this, you could find it. Because the other one, the chance of you finding it is basically right. zero. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this will probably, I kind of figured this will be your least favorite of everything we try today. Just Yeah, I think yesterday. so. This also, it's got kind of a, um, I don't know if it's just that burnt sugar and like, a, you know, root beer-esque-ness. Mm -hmm. But I'm also smelling a little bit of like a barbecue sauce or something like that. It's kind of weird. I didn't get that until just now, but there's like a, yeah. something something along that line. It's more like a, like a McDonald's one, not like. Yeah, not like, before. yeah. Not like high quality. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's yeah. kind of like one with high fructose syrup, corn yeah. syrup, and one of those. Yeah, it's it's kind mm. of interesting. I gotta say, like, I don't really like the flavor that much, but it's kind yeah. of fun to at least pick it apart a little bit. Like, it's sure. different, so it's it's fun. Yeah, exactly. It's something yeah. different that I figure. Well, you haven't had it. You got to have something that's different from it. So. No, and it's great too because so many people said. Uh, because I said I didn't like the Bamor 12. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people said that this is one that they that they actually do like, um, or they like a little bit more. In yeah, I, I think more, You know? So, yeah. So I've got, I don't know, like six or seven different Bamors, but yeah, I figured this was the one, maybe. All right. Not worry about that. A little bit of like a tiny bit of a rancid thing. Maybe that was that weird flavor that I'm, I was trying to yeah, figure out what I, it was. I could see that for sure. Yeah. It, it's it's definitely a different one. It's got a weird note to it. Definitely, yeah. It's I, I think that's generally considered the least favorite of most people is Bamor for whatever. Oh, right. but the one that's just incredible is the ten year cast rank is unbelievable. I bet, yeah. It's it's kind of sad that because I mean uh, I've heard people they go into the warehouses and they try yeah. stuff there and they're like, oh my god, it is nothing like what you get in the bottle. That's 40% chill filter, no, excessive yeah. color, you know, and exactly. I wish they put out more natural expressions like that, that have the, you know, even exactly. cast strength, you know, and they're fantastic. And that's what I wish they put more, but 
clearly there's a market for it because they sell a ton of yep. it. Yep. So, you know, I can't really say they're doing it wrong because they're selling. Right. Like, it's kind of like, uh, <laughs> like Sugar, he says, it's like Dickel. Well, Dickel also sells a tremendous amount of Tennessee. True, whiskey. true. E-150A is burnt sugar. Oh, so maybe that's that. Know what I'm getting? I don't know. It so could it's be. Lots of E-150A. Maybe that's what it is. I've never noticed, not. like, because you, I've never had one up against it where it's like, this has coloring and this is the mm -hmm. same thing, but doesn't have coloring. So I can't say, like, exactly what E-150A tastes like, but maybe mm. that was a little bit of that. You can buy you 150A and can you? Compare it. Yeah, you can do okay. it. It's probably not. It's not great. It's not something <laughs> you really want to drink. I'm sure it's it. not. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. So actually, I don't know what we should do next. What do you think? Well, I figure the next one is 92. percent We should probably go with Nick Offerman's Lagavulin because okay. you know why not? Perfect. That's what I have in my. There's the one you own, one. So I figure. Uh, we will do it because, you know, it's Lagavulin, even though I would say back in the day, Lagavulin was a bunch of a-holes because they tried to steal the stuff from Lafroy and copied all their crap. Oh, I know. Peter Mackey, man. He, that guy was an asshole. He was like, an asshole. Seriously, one of the worst people probably ever in the industry. Yeah. Granted, he also was like a huge conglomerate and he did all this other great things for it, but terrible person. Yeah. And he opened, you know some distilleries so you know i can't hate him too much but no, I mean, <laughs> i'm also yeah. like he was not a kind person <laughs> yeah not a good guy i mean he also you know owned white horses one of the biggest ones which was lagavulin still goes in as in the white yep. horse yep blend but yeah obviously um lagavulin same thing they had a bunch of illicit stills then uh surprise illicit stills were involved oh what no you know, it's crazy <laughs> but, yeah the, the history is not super exciting about lagavulin it's basically yeah they try to steal the frog and you know Thankfully, I always called this the gentleman's version of peat to me. Lagavulin just always just that cleaner, crisper peat to me than anybody else. Of course, Nick Offerman obviously loves Lagavulin, which is why he has this edition. He also has yeah. this stout edition, which I know you don't have. but I Yeah, I, gotta, I have a sample coming, though, so I'll get oh, yeah. to try it. Yeah, so the stout edition's the other one, finished in Guinness. So, That's yeah, it's 11 years old. It's 46%. They don't – this one does not have any coloring or chill filtering, thank God. Yeah, this is forty six percent. So, which the log of balloon sixteen should be, but it's okay. <laughs> mm. DJ, there's just two. Let's see. Oh yeah, yep. Uh, Andrew two. Butler says uh, you need enormous amounts of E one fifty eight to be able to taste it. Several people have done experience debunking it. Yeah, so I don't know. I got a burnt sugar note that may just be a burnt sugar note and not a E one fifty eight note. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's certainly possible. I mean, theoretically, it shouldn't have much taste. Like, yeah, that, it's like but, one of the ones that has the least amount of taste, I guess. That's why they can use the A, but not the B or, you know, other ones. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because the other ones have way more flavor to them. Yeah. But yeah, it is interesting stuff. Yeah, I know Roy did some experiments with it as well, dropping it into different um, scotches to see what it, difference it made. Uh-huh. But yeah, when you do compare one that has or doesn't have it, it's a pretty discernible difference in color, number one. Right. And it does have a different taste. The problem is getting an exact match of the exact same thing is so hard. Right. So it's really getting apples to apples is really kind of difficult. I think, seriously, one of these whiskey brands that really care about non-chill filtering and natural mm. color, I think it'd be kind of cool. I'm sure if they if they made a pack where they had a non-chill oh. filtered natural color and then they had one that had coloring in it. Same proof, It'd same everything, you know, same barrel, whatever. Yeah. I think it would be really cool. And they could sell it as a little pack in like total wine shops and stuff. Yeah. I, some whiskey nerds would buy that for sure. <laughs> oh, absolutely. But until that happens, the likelihood that you'll be able to try it is slim. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, yes. The eight years good. It's very nice. It yeah, people have said that. I haven't, I don't think I've tried the eight. It has 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cast strength, 16, yeah. and what, 25, cool. but yeah, they're all, crazy. they're all freaking good. <laughs> That's all you need to know. They're all good. Just yeah, this different. one smells really, really sweet. Like there's a lot yeah. of kind of a caramel, you know, caramel like butterscotchiness to it. Definitely more than the the sixteen. This one smells way sweeter. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this is really, this is a really sweet addition for sure. Yeah. 
But I'm just glad you got one because these things were really hard to come. Yeah, thankfully a fan sent us ours too because we couldn't find one. Yeah, yeah, I I was down here and he was like, "Hey, I'm sending you 16 and 11." And I was like, "Oh my goodness, that's insane!" Like, yes, and I just love this because I'm such a big Parks and Rec fan that it's like I yeah. will just keep this bottle even if it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> it's too cool. <sighs> Smells really good though. I just love this. Oh yeah, I love Lagavulin in general. So it's a great, great whiskey. Of course, it's another Diageo brand. Surprise. Right. Yeah, I don't think... Any, the only one in here that's really small is really basically Coloma. The rest are all owned by some massive conglomerate. Yeah, yeah. And but who knows? Old. Maybe Coloma will be one day. I mean, it's still... I mean, it's old, but it's not that old. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's, the, it's the newest so, one that's it's the in baby. <laughs> putting out production. Yeah. Yeah, until Ardenho actually, you know, yeah, it's up and running. Or I mean, it's up and running, but yeah, until it kind of is doing its thing. Right, right. Whenever the heck that ends up being, who knows? God only knows we'll actually get to try that one. Hopefully, hopefully. But hey, you know, like Torveg on Sky, I mean, they finally, the first one in 190 years. How crazy. Mm. I mean, Coloma, 125 years in between them, so, you know. Only in short uh -huh. periods of time. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> Centuries. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Mm. So, yeah, this one's kind of cool. It's sweeter. And then mm. it's got, it has more peat in it. I know it's probably the exact same peat, but it almost tastes slightly different. Um, it tastes almost like a different peat. A little bit more leaning on the Lafroig side than like that dry, well, what, like earthier side. we found is... The younger the peat, the more peaty it's going to be. Right, right. So yeah, it diminishes what, in the cask. So. so five years difference less in the cask. So that, mm -hmm. that alone is going to make it. Also, the 16 is at 43% rather than at 46. Right, right. They're a little higher proof, you're gonna, you know, but also it's younger peat. So it, it just it's going to taste a little bit uh, more peaty yeah. and more sweet and all that good stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I like whole, it. Oh, yeah. I think it's really good. It's really good. Especially, you know, 70 bucks, whatever it was at the time. What It wasn't bad. Yeah, I don't know how much Stanley had it, but I don't think it was too bad because he's in California and the prices there are pretty good. So where he's at anyway, it seems like they're they're okay. Always a plus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the new Stout Edition, which I can pour a little bit real quick. Yeah, go for it. That way people can at least get an idea if they can find it. Yeah. I don't know. Have you, had, to try it. Have you had the Jameson IPA version ever? No, and I haven't had the stout or the IPA, but I would—I think I would love the stout because I just love. Stout. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, that's also Guinness finished in that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. there's the stout and the IPA from Jameson. I haven't compared that to the off one. I think that actually would be fun. I'll have to do that one of these days. Oh, that would be a good. Yeah, that would be a good video. Over sure. there in the box. <sighs> yeah, it's way more. Yeah, that, that Guinness really comes out. You could really get that beer note off of it. It's also got like a more hefty nighttime peat. Oh, okay. Like billowing fire from a... Uh, Steve A says, cast makes that his life. Oof, yeah. Yeah, I like whiskey and stout mixed together, like... That is just my dream scenario because that's the only beer that I drink. <laughs> is um, <stout. laughs> okay. That's the only one I like. Yeah. yeah. The beer really comes through on this. That's what I've heard. A lot of people say on, on reviews I've watched. Yes. Yeah. Um, like Glenn Fittick did an IPA version that was series one of their experimentals on oh, five, okay. six years ago. I yeah. had that one. That one's really good too. I but, haven't had it, no. That's a good yeah, that that's another whole night. This the experimental series from uh <laughs> Glenn Fiddick. From Glenn Fiddick, yeah. Okay, um I might have to pop my neck here really quick. I'm just gonna mute myself okay. for one second. That's, that sounds horrible. That sounds very painful to have to do that. I would drink more whiskey if it solves that problem. Well, so actually I've I've noticed so a lot of the times I mean my neck is so tight that I can't pop my neck. But then when I start drinking whiskey, it it uh, relaxes. Up. Yeah, it's like a muscle relaxer. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I think I can do this now. <laughs> there you go. So, 
Yeah, I just went to the uh, went to the doctor and found out. So I've been having neck pain for the last couple of years, and I was like, "What the heck is going on?" Like, I figured, "Oh, I'm young. Mm. Like, it'll eventually just you know fix itself. Whatever's going on." Mm. And apparently, I have um, what is it? I have three herniated discs, and I guess the discs are also degenerating. So I have to degenerate. Uh, what, what is it called? Dang it! Uh, he said it was like a disc disease where your discs degenerate, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, that's what he said. Um, so I have that going on. And then he wants me to talk to a rheumatologist to see if yeah. I have arthritis, basically, because I'm having a bunch of joint issues. So Yep, that sounds about yeah. right. That sucks. Yeah. So that I'm like, at least I know what my neck problem is now. Because before, I was just like, am I going crazy? Or like, what's happening? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But so yeah, I'm actually excited because now I... Hopefully we'll have some form of like a treatment plan. I have a doctor's plan. Drink whiskey, day, problem so. solved. There you go, muscle relaxer. <laughs> and that, well, I have minor problems. That's what my doctor told me. He said, drink. <laughs> he said, if you got, he need, I need you to drink every day, and, and it has to be good scotch. It's a requirement. Okay, there we That's go. That's what my doctor told me. I'll make sure he writes that down in a note. So if my yeah. husband ever complains, I can just be like, <laughs> doctor says so. <laughs> doctor says, doctor's orders. <laughs> doctor told me some other things. I'll tell you after the stream that are pretty funny too, but they're not appropriate for here. Okay, okay, no worries. <laughs> DC, get your official Whiskey Central t-shirts here, including the Shea Lambert t-shirt. That's what DC D DC designed that one. It has Ron mm. Swanson's face on it when he was drunk on snake juice. So it's it's mm. pretty classic t-shirt. <laughs> uh, uh, since I fell down the scotch rabbit hole, don't drink beer much. Me neither. Yeah, it's just every once in a while. Uh, Mexican Thai pizza are the times when the beer is mandatory. There oh. you go. There okay. you go. I need the same doctor. Yes. <laughs> Can we all find the name of your, of Matt's doctor and just <laughs> so, mm -hmm. write me a prescription for whiskey, please. There you uh, go. DC, he also just put my Patreon link in guys. I think we're at 53 patrons now. So the there train is humming. So thanks DC for putting that in. Amy Bone was my 50th patron. So thanks Amy for being cool. awesome. Matt is your doctor <laughs> accepting new patients. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure always, Charles. Always. There we go. There we go. Because, you know, so, yeah. most of his patients are old and so they die. So he has always needs new patients. There you go. There you go. I'm one of his younger ones. <laughs> I have issues. So I think, I don't know. I I actually, I, I like the, I really like the Log of Bull in 11. Um, it's kind of different from the 16 mm. because I feel like the 16. Like, not to say that this isn't balanced, but there's something with the 16, like the yeah. lighter smoke and the sherry. I just I really do like that. Um, but I really like that Kalila 12. I don't know. I know it's a little bit lower proof, but I really, mm. I really liked that one. I don't know. Awesome. Hey, yeah, that's good news. I mean, you can get that one for cheaper and easier to find. There we go. There we go. <laughs> now, the next one I have sent you here, this is Boonahab, and I did not send you one of their, their, like one ppms, I sent you there. This is this ridiculous Kaya Binok, which is the mostly mist, the smoky mist one here. So since I will usually covered in mist and smoke, and goes back to the days so they used to make whiskey over you know hundred years ago is why they made this one. It's over ten years old in bourbon casks, but this cool. is heavily heavily peated. Nice. So yeah, so this is one of their more rare, harder to find That's ones. Cool. So, so I on my. Oh, sorry. On my uh, Patreon uh, pregame, I was trying to figure out how to pronounce this, and uh, somebody said, "I think it's I think it's Kayabinok. Kayabinok. I think that's how you say it, but honestly, no idea." <laughs> that's a oh, great Eric. idea. I like that, Eric. Sit on the sit on the beach, it's on a surfboard, and drink. It's a good plan. There you go. Yeah, I'm uh, mildly scared of sharks, and by mildly, I mean terrified. <laughs> so yeah, I can't I don't go in the water. <laughs> I actually no. used to surf. I oh, yeah. like when we moved down here, I was like, I want to surf. And so I started learning how to surf and it was so fun. And then there was this one day where it kind of felt a little creepy. I was, you know, I had my hand in the water and I don't think anything touched it, but I was like, there was this feeling like, I think there's a shark in the water. <laughs> and so I just went in and then I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I just like, got too afraid. Not. Yeah. Yeah. Pass on that play. Yeah. I don't, I don't get in the, water oh yeah amy another bourbon drinker converted to scotch she's, she says she's not a convert but mm, we're gonna yeah you're gonna get in there you'll get there or at the very least you'll drink both 
Yes, it's so funny will come here and they're like, I don't like scotch. I'm like, what have you had? Well, I see you've had a bunch of crap. All right, and you fix that problem. They're like, oh my God, scotch me. Then like two years, like, you bastard, you cost me thousands of dollars. And right, scotch. right. It's like, I'm sorry. Yeah, and there's some people that just will never like it, and that's okay. But I'm going to try my hardest for everybody to at least find that's something right. they like. So There's so many different scotches. You can find something for almost everyone of yeah. some sort. Even if they really are a bourbon person, I can find a scotch they like. Yeah. I've never had them go, I hate everything you gave me. Yeah. And actually, it's funny because I'm doing that bourbon drinker try scotch like series. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And um, I've noticed that people, people at least find one that they mm. mildly enjoy or they like. I haven't found people that are like, oh, my God, I love this so much. But they at least like something, which is, yeah. which is good. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Yeah. One of the yeah, it's interesting. It's also interesting to me. I do a lot of you know professional stuff with this too. How many people I find out really like peated scotch and especially women, yeah. which has really been interesting that I did not expect at all how much they really enjoyed it. And they, a lot of them turned away from the sherry because they didn't like the mustiness, but they mm -hmm. really loved the peated scotch, which was really interesting, which I was shocked at. Me too. I think when I I made a, a scotch flight for uh, Julie Like, and I didn't put peated whiskey in there on purpose because I thought, mm. oh, she said she does she doesn't like uh, scotch, and maybe she's had some bad experiences with peat. Yeah. You know, and actually, I think after I sent her those, she actually liked um, some Ardbeg. So oh, I was like, it. And so it's uh, a lot of the times what they say is that it's the malt flavor or the lack of corn sweetness and not the peat. Correct. And so the peat actually kind of gives them a different flavor mm -hmm. to attach on to. So it's kind of cool. I don't know. Yeah, I found the same thing too. With people like like they'll hate monkey shoulder because it's so malty. Super malty, yeah. But they really like peated scotch because exactly that it covers up the malt, which they don't like yeah. the malt paste. Yeah. So which which works. So it's it's very interesting to see how that's been. And so Yeah, pretty neat. All right. So what do you think of this one? So I like this one. It's, um, I think uh, what I notice a lot on um, peated whiskeys, or not every peated whiskey, but a lot that I've experienced is, it's so you've got the the smokiness or like that that peat kind of thing, maybe even a little bit of brine depending on what it is. But then I also get this powdered sugar like sweet confectionery thing, and I get a little bit yeah. of that on the nose. Like there's a sweetness and the peat kind of mingled together, and I really enjoy it. So. Oh yeah, this is got that nice. <laughs> it's heavily peated, but it's got that nice sweet peat to me. Mm. Yeah, mm, there's dinner. a little bit of spice on the palate. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Shark. Hi to some people in chat. Sorry, sorry guys. The, I'm not going to be as on chat today, as you guys know, because I'm not good at juggling things. Ask her about spiders. That's my husband. No bueno on the spiders. Worse than worse than sharks. Well, not worse than sharks, but I come into more contact with spiders than sharks. <laughs> so. I can see that. Spiders are terrible. I hate them. They yes. should all die. Uh, Luna Aden. Hello, everybody. Hi there. Friend from Germany. We've got Brad yeah. Smith. I think you're new to my chat. Hello, Brad. Welcome, welcome. We've got Richard. Okay, guys. Yeah, I like this one. It's got a nice little sweet... A little bit of smokiness. Honestly, it's is this called intensely peated? It is for Bunahaven. Okay, because I'm like, it doesn't seem that intense, honestly. Compared to their regular stuff, yes. Compared yeah. to others, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I was like, yeah, there's there's a little bit, yeah. but it's not crazy. Um, have you had any other Bunahaven at all, or no? I've had uh, Bunahaven 12, so just okay, the yeah. unpeated. Yeah. So you have had their, their basically unpeated yeah. version. Yep, yep. Okay. So yeah, this is nice though. Yeah, yeah. I cool. love I love when I get that confectionery note mm -hmm. on peated whiskeys. That balance, I just it's like my favorite thing. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is part of a series. There's three or four different ones of this. The best one of the series though is it's a um, they call it a duty free only that my brother in law got us when he was in Germany. Oh my gosh, it's freaking amazing. Yeah, it's even better than this one. This Do one's you remember good. What it was called? I don't know. We did a review on it. I'd have to look it up. Oh, okay. No worries. I I don't know, but the the Tachekada one. Um, yeah, that is one. Is that I can a travel get. only, or is that a? No, regular? that one you can get at the okay. store. Occasionally, okay. you can find that. I, I've got a couple of those. That was the other one that I knew of, so I wasn't sure. Oh, is it yeah. the what is it? The Stoisha or something? Is that another one that's regular? I can't remember. I'll look it up real quick. 
It probably right. is that one. Let's see. Might be, yeah. I can't remember um, which one's the... Or like that... Ugh, I'm so sorry. I'm like butchering all these names, but the Struidilator or whatever. Yeah, that <laughs> one you can get. That one's meh. Meh? Okay. Yeah, that's their base one. It's like $35, and I'm like, meh. No. Yeah. Once I do a whiskey review, I know how to pronounce something, but I haven't ever seen any of those whiskeys, so right. I don't know how to pronounce any of them. Uh, I know the Tochekada because Roy uh, told me how to pronounce it, but uh, oh, okay. But the other ones I don't. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I was. I go with the point of I don't give a shit. Yeah, because, there you go. That's the way to go. <laughs> well, it's because it's like, well, it's, it's too many damn things, and I can't pronounce it. And you know what? In the long run, all the Roy matters does it taste good. Right. It's that, funny. Uh, I, I just did the uh, the Bonahaven Twelve uh, review today. Mm -hmm. And they when they first launched their single malt, they they labeled it as the unpronounceable malt, <laughs> and I think they've That's carried hilarious. that on with their other uh, their other names. So that is pretty funny. Okay, it's here's what it is. It's uh, okay. Kruak Mahana. So how, oh, if okay. that's even remotely right? Okay, so something like that. Now, if you ever get a chance to try the twenty five, the twenty five is freaking spectacular. That's what I've heard. I mean, especially probably the never, but... box twenty five. That's the one you really want to try. The new 25 is okay. The wooden box is way better. Okay. The older one? Yeah, the older one's significantly better. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, so I think uh, with with this Bonohaben, I I really enjoy it. I think I like the Lagavulin 11 and the Kalila more, but I still really do like this one. Okay. It's kind yeah. of like, honestly, they could all like tie for first place probably. It's like right. little little variances, not it's huge. All of them like a point of each other type thing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is good. It's just, yeah, it's just that sweet peat, you know, it's just, that's to me, it's just the sweet peat. But yeah, that's yeah. they're always known for. They're always known for all the really, they're basically unpeated stuff. But yeah, or as Eric says, it's his point A is pronounced as buy me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the moinia, buy me now. <laughs> correct answer. That is the correct answer. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Andrew says, I'm trying to get into peated. So uh, I've noticed uh, kind of crazily, but a lot of people uh, that I've recommended like peated stuff to, or they've seen my reviews, they tried Port Charlotte 10, and that's what gets them in. So I don't mm -hmm. know if that's a good one to start with or not, but it seems like a lot of, and their bourbon drinkers have really liked that. So Which is I don't interesting know. considering that it's a heavily peated one. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, actually, like this says intensely peated, and it's like, meh. But that one's like actually like pretty heavily. Oh yeah, that was way more beaten that for yeah. sure. But it's it's nice too. I, I really like it. So. Oh yeah, that's, that's usually a good one. I I do find a lot of people do end up tending to like that one. Yeah. Just tune in. Y'all gonna make me drink scotch this early? Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'd have twitched your arm so oh, hard. Darn it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's a terrible thing to have to do. Yeah, so that one's good. I think. Yeah, you know, good stuff. Yeah, I do like that one. It's nice. But, you know, it's it's a good distillery. Been, same thing. They're, it's old. It's been around. Because the funny thing about them, them is they didn't have a road built to them <laughs> till like, I think, 60, 70 years ago. So they had to come yeah. in by boat. There was no yeah. other way to get to them. They're like, well, there's no train. There's no cars. Come by boat. Yeah, yeah. No and even when they when they built the uh, the road, it wasn't used for a while. They still use ships. Yeah, uh, they built. I think it cost uh, uh, in my history video that I did uh, for this week. I think it was thirty thousand pounds at the time, which was like two point six million pounds in today's money. So mm. like a crazy amount to build the road and the dock and all of yeah. the housing uh, around the distillery and stuff is is nuts, but. Well, yeah, a lot of these towns, the whole town supports the distillery. It's the only reason the yeah. town's there. It yeah. serves no other purpose. Yeah. yeah but, yeah, it's, it's you know, it, it, Budenhofen's definitely one of the more interesting histories for sure on Isla. But. Yeah. All right, let's see here. I think we're going to go to, now, Coloman, of course, is the new distillery. Yay. <laughs> so this is a 2010 Coloma. This is the farm distillery. Of course, everything they come from there, one farm around them. Which is kind of cool. This one's a this is a nine year. This is ex bourbon and ex sherry, but this one is forty eight percent. So this is a little bit nice bump up. Now, have you had any Coloma before or never prior? Um, yeah. So um, Roy sent me the uh, Kilhoman 
10th edition Isla Bar 100% Isla Barley, I think is okay. what it was called. So, and I really actually like that. It was, it was nice. Good. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think, uh, the funny thing is, I think the newest 100 style here is like six. That's like the six. Part. The sixth edition. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, okay. Like that's, that's like the newest I can find. That's funny. It's, it's yeah. just funny how much later we get a lot of this stuff. Right, right. Yeah, he yeah, he had it over from there. So. But yeah, this is the, at the time when I bought this, this was their, their oldest stuff on the market and nine years old. Oh, okay. So it's, it's, it is quite interesting. And a nice 51.6% uh, ABV. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one's from 2019. They only made 15,000 bottles. And this said, this cool thing is it tells you it's 30 fresh bourbon barrels and three Olotos for sherry, but it's filled in 2010 and matured over nine years. Okay. All right. And they're super transparent, no coloring, no chill filtering. These are This is a really cool, nice distillery. Yeah, I was uh, that Aquavite stream uh, where he had uh, Kilhoman on. That was a really cool, just oh, kind nice. of the story and background of uh, of Kilhoman and just how hard it was for them to actually become a distillery and just yeah. you know, how how many times they were close to kind of closing. So it's yeah, kind of neat. wild because they're just in the in the middle. They're not on the they're not on the sea. So right, they got their oh, little farm. And that's it. Says I'm trying. Uh, I'm looking to try uh, something even more heavily peated than Ardbeg Ten and Port Charlotte. Okay, well, I mean Octomore, but <laughs> what do you think, Matt? Ardbeg Ten. Oh. That's they're really liking that. Yeah, I mean, pretty, get some, get some of the Lafroy castrates. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. To, get, you know, go after Octomore, obviously. I mean, you're really. Or if you can get Ardbeg like Supernova, things like that, that are 100 ppm. Yeah. yeah. Heavier, no. But yeah, I mean, Octomore. I mean, Octomore is expensive, and it might be hard to find. Um, but that's that's going to be probably what you're looking for. I mean, Port Charlotte Ten uh, has a pretty good PPM, and Ardbeg Ten has a pretty good PPM. But yeah, yeah maybe some Lafroid, and then with the cast strength, I think would it would bring you more of that flavor that you're looking for. That's that's what I would do. Is just try the yeah. cast strength Lafroid. Try your cast strength. Get some of the committee releases from Ardbeg, things like that. Yep. But yeah, Supernova definitely because that's a hundred. And we're actually trying a Octomore seven point one tonight yes, at, the, at the end. So whew. because that one is yeah, that one's two hundred eight ppm. So yeah, two hundred eight ppm. Yeah. So well, and, and yeah. our bag is like around what 50, 50, 50 Yeah, it's about yeah. fifty uh, someone there, depending which one you got. Yeah. <sighs> this smells good. It really. And I mean, I think it makes sense now that you say the cask makeup, but uh, it doesn't smell as sherry. When it said sherry finished, I kind mm. of was expecting those those mm. dried fruits, and I get a little bit of that on the nose, but it's a little bit more vanilla. I think that that bourbon cask it's leaning way more bourbon cask on the on the nose. Well, it's a blend of them rather than taking right. and finishing it. It's they're all done for nine years, and then put together rather than ten, you know, six and three or something like that. Right. Right. No, I mean, yeah, a little bit more on the palate, a little bit more of that, but yeah, we beasties is also probably a good choice if you want higher peat. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, because it's only aged for five years, so a lot mm -hmm. of that stuff that would eventually die off in a cask is exactly. gonna still be there. So that that's a good call. Yeah, it's a hard one to find, but uh, actually, it's gonna, you'll when we when we meet again in three weeks. Is uh, Spring Forty Four out of Colorado is unbelievably peaty and freaking amazing. Okay, okay. that's one. If somebody can somehow find that. That's a good one to drink. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah, we're on this one. Yeah, yeah, I really like it on the palate. The there's a tiny bit of sherry, and that mm. blended with the smoke on the palate is a, a pretty nice balance. And um, Another thing, along with confectionery sugar, which I normally get on uh, some peated whiskeys, is like a little bit of an effervescent texture, mm -hmm. which I got on that uh, 10th edition uh, Isla Barley from oh, the wow. Kilhoman. And I get a little bit of that on here. Not as much, but um, I like that. So, Yeah, it's just more, the, especially once you get into the finishes with these guys, especially some of their more interesting, like their rums or their Madeiras. Oh, my gosh. They get yeah. crazy. They're you know, really, really good. It is hard to come by, unfortunately. Right, right. Yeah, At least the, in America. Yeah, and the STRs are really good. Those are fantastic. Mm, yeah. Well, yeah, I like this oh. one a lot. That's good stuff. Yeah, I'm really excited to try a, a shaved toast rechar. That's uh 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> it makes me happy <laughs> just thinking about it. Thanks. It's spectacular. I'll, I'll tell you that. That's for sure. Oh, man. I bet. Well, these are pretty spectacular, so thank you, Matt, for sending me these. <laughs> oh, no problem. Well, like I said, they're all going to get better. They just keep getting a little bit better, a little bit better. Yep, yep. I think what I noticed with the, I don't know, I, with these Islas, I feel like it's such gradual shifts. Like, they're all really good, but just mm-hmm. different. Yes. And I think with the Campbelltown flight that we did, mm-hmm. it was similar, but I think there was bigger jumps. Like, it just got, like, even better and even better, like, yeah. a crazy amount, you know? I'd agree. They they change as bigger jumps in Camel Town than there is Nyla. Yeah. But yeah, these are all so far, these are all wonderful. Well, I, I don't like the Bomore um that much, but the rest of yeah. them are really, really good. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, Luna, I, I feel like I noticed that too with um so like for Claudia the Classic Lottie, I think they say that. They say unpeated on the bottle, but I think they're around 10 parts per million. They say 5 to 10 parts per million peat, which pretty much almost all of that, if not all of that, would get stripped away with production. But I don't know if it's just the the coastal character or they're touching the same, you know, washbacks or what. But That's um, the problem. I feel it's like you do it, get a little bit of that. Yeah, we actually got an answer on that. The reason oh, you yeah. have is is the, it's left in the still. That's the problem. You can't okay. get it out. And so after you do an do a peated run, go to an unpeated run. Well, it's not a lot of the still in it, so it stays in there. And so no matter what you do, you're still going to get peat in it. It's you're just, still going to get that, yeah, that character. Uh, much prefer whiskeys that are a blend of different full maturation casts rather than dumped into bourbon casks and then finished in something else for a bit mm-hmm. at the end. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is exactly what this is is a blend of that. So. Yeah, I feel like I like both. It depends on how well they do it, you know. Uh, some marry them really well, and some you kind of feel like it's a little bit disjointed. But, mm-hmm. but yeah. Uh, oh, is Whiskey Mountains in? Uh, DC says go subscribe to Whiskey Mountains. There you go. I guess she is. I don't know. Yeah. No, we're not done. Go away. <laughs> uh, I don't see her in, but no worries. Uh, but why then uh, taste Hazelburn? It, yeah, Hazelburn doesn't taste peaty at all. Isn't that kind of funny? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Well, it depends on which Hazelburn you get. Because we gave some to Scott from my bourbon journey. He's like, what the hell? And yeah, it's the same thing. It tastes like it has way pe- It actually is peated and it's not. It's the same problem. It's left in the still. So I wonder if, you know, that first run of Hazelburn is peated sure. or like a first few and then you do a lot if they're doing that right then you get rid of it hazel burn then you get rid of it and then those are not exactly and so, you know, it's a total crap shoot what you get in that bottle yeah but yeah the barolo that we had which was like oh, <laughs> one of my favorite whiskeys of all time um because i like nebbiolo so um but yeah that one was amazing and did not taste at all peated to me also it was going up against spring bank and a bunch of right. Campbell towns too so in comparison in in contrast uh definitely uh didn't Absolutely. taste peated at all so yeah hurry up and do that uh even there if there's a remnant of peat in the still it can be removed if the tails yeah yeah um so there are no phenolics left okay okay so maybe that explains the the spring bank but yeah maybe there is sometimes a little carryover that's why yeah, I don't know. Interesting topic for sure. Yeah, I think it just depends on where it is in the runs, really what it comes yeah. down to. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. So yeah, that one was good. Okay, so what are we... Okay, the next three, I'm so stoked. I can't even... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I don't the know what we're doing three. next, but I'm jazzed. <laughs> All right, so the next one we're going to do is Lefroig Karchus. Now, this is the 26 Ooh. Madeira cask. So, so this is an older one that I got lucky enough to find in the back of a store. They're like, "Yeah, you want this too?" Yes, I do. Awesome. So so this had- one is fifty-one point six, and this is Lefroy, the one that you know, Lagoon tried to steal. But yeah, these guys have been around over two hundred years since eighteen fifteen. Uh, they actually had, I think, it was eighteen forty-seven. Their master distiller fell into the thing and died. So got that. Oh, right. Yeah. The the. That or something. It was some yeah, like thing, died. right? Yeah, it was. It was not good. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It sucks, but it is what it is. This is number six. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. So anyway, so every year they do this special, you know, friendship bottling, and this is this is this one from 2016. So it's ex bourbon, then finished in uh, Madeira. But yeah, these and guys. I am a big fan of Lafroix, so I'm really excited right now. <laughs> yeah, and the fact that they didn't go out of business and they didn't get screwed over, they magically, thank God, stayed in business. So yeah, um, luckily the the um, malt mill didn't taste the same, or we may have yeah. had a problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thankfully, and it's the poster child for why you can't replicate whiskey to different place. It's impossible, and you people are all stupid that say. And they're all on the south. They're all on the south coast. Like it's exactly. a. Almost the as complicated as you could get, and you still don't taste the same. It's stupid. So yeah, I was a little like, it's a secret. What's in our thing? It's dumb. Who cares? Tell me what's in your stuff. It's impossible for me to create it. I, my, some of my favorite, some of these craft stores you go to, they'll have like all their uh, whatever goes into their whiskeys, and they'll like, and then at the bottom says, good luck. <laughs> right, like, yeah. It's hysterical. Like, I'm not going to tell you. And it's like, oh, good luck if they're transparent about it. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah, it's like, yeah, they're completely transparent. They're like, good luck recreating this. Because yeah. it's impossible. They know it's it's yeah. not going to happen. That's why I don't like when people don't disclose their mash bills. It's oh, like, stupid. come on, it doesn't matter. Just tell me. I want to know how much rye is in this. Exactly. <laughs> like, the same barrels. It's impossible. I can't yeah. run my fill the same. I don't have the same still. It's dumb. Yeah. But yeah, Lafroig is my was my uh, gateway to peated scotch. This is why oh, I found nice. scotch was Lafroig. Because before I had it like Glenfiddich 12 and like uh, you know, Glenlivet 12. I was like, yeah, these are fine. Then I got Lafroig 10. I'm like, oh my God, this is fucking amazing. So I, I didn't have Lafroig 10. I had a uh, Lafroig Lore. That was my first. Uh, oh it wasn't my, my first, was was my first, first peated, but it was somebody sent it to me. Oh and my I God, tried it and I was crazy. like, oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> it was so awesome. good. That's really cool. What a hell of a way to have a first Lafroy. I, I know I'm like kind of ruined because it's it's wonderful. It's one of my favorites. So mm. it's what I guess I was watching your stream when I was putting this together. That's I think it was right. that because that, I was gonna give you lore. I was like, oh well, crap, somebody gave it to her. I guess I'll yeah, I got the bottle and you were like, never mind, pouring that back in. <laughs> I had to pour a few back in because I was like, oh crap. Yeah, no, I got so lucky. So many people. I think it's because I was. I was really wanting to experience Pete, and so enough people were like, "Okay, let's let's give her this and let's let her try yeah. this," you know. So, but it's, I do really like Lafroig uh, Ten. It was cool. Oh, I yeah. actually called it. I, it was in a blind, the Lafroig, and I was like, I smelled it, and I was like, "This smells Lafroigy," and he was like, "What?" And I was like, "I don't know why, but it just smells like Lafroig," awesome. and it was Lafroig, and I was like, "Yes, that's awesome." <laughs> it was cool. Uh, yeah, he's, like Andrew awesome. Rutledge, he's, he's loved uh, Lafroy 10 since 1982. Man, I bet you that 1982 Lafroy is amazing if you have a ball oh store. God, I bet that stuff God. is just killer. I don't even know where that comment is. Is it way up there? Uh, no, it was like the very last one I saw here on the stream yard. Now, now oh, it's okay. a couple. It's like oh, 30. I mean, it jumped. Yeah, you know how it is on stream yard. It oh, here it is. Here it is. There, yeah. Sorry, my stream yard freaked out. Wow. That's awesome. Hmm. <laughs> what? Uh, Luna's comments hysterical. <laughs> the Italians give away some decently sweaty football shorts recently. Okay, so I've been trying to learn stuff about football because I have no idea how any no. of it works. Yeah. So now I kind of know that there's like a UEFA championship and then there's like the Premier League and there's a few like there's Premier League and then there's a few other leagues depending on what country you're in. That's all I know so far. And the UEFA is like a bunch of countries in Europe come together and play a championship. Is that what's sure. happening right now? Like the England versus Italy thing? Is that what's sure. happening? I have no idea. I don't, I don't watch football. I have no idea. Okay. Or soccer. I'm trying to like learn about it because I feel like Europeans watch my channel and I'm like, I probably should know what's happening with soccer because I have no idea. <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> I'm like, it has no effect on my life. Yeah. So I just don't care. Yeah. Do you watch any sports? Uh, not anymore. I'm pissed off at all of them, so fuck that. Oh, okay. So, no. I don't watch that many, but... Um, I used to watch I a lot some. of them. They, uh, they can all kiss my ass. So, I haven't been to a game in years, so I'll not be giving them any more money ever again. Yeah. So, I'm done with them. It's great. I've watched the Super Bowl in five years. It's been great. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I freed up Sunday. It was fantastic. Yeah, there you go. Now you have a day to, to recover. Uh, the UEFA is a bunch of greedy F, <laughs> but yeah, European Football Association. Okay. Yeah, I feel I, I need to learn about it a little bit, but 
I mm -hmm. literally have no idea. I'm just watching YouTube videos like uh, Scotch or soccer for dummies because <laughs> I have no idea. Sure. Mm, this one smells really good. It's like darker fruits, and then there's like a I don't know if this is European oak or not, um, but it's got this spicier European oak kind of thing um, on the palate, at least. Uh, I don't know. It I know they say. usually use Maker's Mark. Is there um, as their bourbon? Ask, yeah, it's their bourbon they use. Yeah. But I don't know. Obviously, so I'm not sure on the sherry if it might be or like the Madeira. You know. Yeah. Now European that probably or... kind of European oak, more than likely. Yeah. Considering it's Madeira, so. Mm. But it's really, really good. I dig I'll this see, one. I like your comment. I watched Australian wins badminton. See, that sounds way more exciting. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Badminton's actually really fun. Like, I haven't played it since I was young, but it's, I feel like it would be really fun. It's to a fun thing time. with, like, when you have family events and watch everyone make jackasses themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. Uh, hey, everyone from Ireland. Hi, Thomas Jones, a new name. Hello, hello. I love chess. Yes, Jaime. I am a big, um, I have two boards. I watch chess all the time. I'm really terrible at it, but it's, like my favorite, my favorite. I like thing. those giant chess boards you find at like parks and stuff. Those are cool. Yeah, absolutely cool. Or like fancy hotels they have them. Those are cool. But yeah, this this is a really, really good one. <laughs> I like this one a lot. I always wonder how many people really believe me. I know it's so hard to tell if Eric is kidding. I, I mean, maybe he's just kidding all the time. I'm just so gullible that I'm like, oh, yep. That's he's, he's saying kidding, the like, truth. Ninety-nine percent of the time. <laughs> I know I should know better. But I'm like, so uh, the funny thing is, is how we'll get get all bent out of shape. I'm like he's joking. Yeah. No, most of the time I'm laughing at what he's saying, or I'm like rolling my eyes because it's like something ridiculous, you know. But yeah. um, half the time I'm believing him because I'm really gullible and I'm I should know better. <laughs> hmm. That's pretty cool. Oh, Volleyball, yeah. archery, and billiards. There you go. I always thought the whole place, the whole lot, I don't know if you guys have them down there. They have the axe throwing. I'm like, this seems like a bad thing to combo with whiskey. Definitely. Throwing, I'm like, I don't think mixing alcohol and throwing weapons is a good choice. We don't we don't have uh, axe throwing down here, but um, Andrew Butler, I, uh, I play pool all the time. I even have my own cue, and I have a dorky little glove, nice. not because I think I'm good, but because I hate the feeling of the of the like, strap of the pull cue, um, so I have to wear a glove or else it drives me insane. But mm -hmm. um, I'm not very good at it, but it's really really fun. So whatever makes you happy. Yep. Do you do you have any of those like hobbies that you really that you really enjoy other than whiskey? Obviously. Uh, I like movies. Movies? Yeah. Yeah, I have like five thousand movies. It's oh we God. have we have a huge media room. It's full of freaking. It's nine or ten racks of DVDs. Oh, so you're so you're your whiskey and your movies. You're like oh you, yeah. You're a collector of both. That's cool. Pretty pretty much. Yeah, before stamps got outrageous, like I was a kid, I used to collect stamps and baseball cards oh, when okay. they were you know a reasonable price, but now they're out of control. So forget those. So you're just like a collector at heart, then. This Pretty is much. just your your life. This these is what these you are do. my adult collections, and those are my childhood collections. There these you go. Are. That's awesome. My okay, DC. My says my hobby is donuts. One hundred percent. Yes. That's a good choice. Now, I, I love donuts. Oh, at the Wizard Academy, Eric says they threw axes oh. and drank whiskey. Well, that's very nice, Eric. That's nice. Ooh. I could. I would hurt somebody, even probably sober. <laughs> I don't think it, it could end good. very poorly. Yeah, Definitely. I remember when we were the, as a kid, we, we used to go to the Dominican Republic, and one of the resorts we stayed at had archery. Yeah, plus it was great because you could drink as a kid, and they didn't give a shit. I was like 16, and you just be just freaking wasted, just oh drinking oh, for terrible alcohol and just firing off air. I'm like, that, when you think about that, I was like, this was a terrible choice. Definitely. Of course, we're horse riding and doing this shit too, so <laughs> that makes it even dumber. I'm like, uh, how are we not dead? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's one thing. I don't think it's as, and maybe when you were a kid is a little bit different, but um, the, uh, um, like, they allow younger kids to drink here. Like, yeah, 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 right. Like, around probably 16, you know, like, you can, you can like, pass you as it, so. Right. 
Oh, Julie just sent in a very generous super chat. $25 freaking dollars. Thank you, Julie, the legend. Um, DC gave me Ardbeg Scorch, and I just poured it. Yay! Okay, so she, let's cool. see. Expect to say snarky remarks to him. Oh, I freaking love it. Yes! Yes! It's amazing, delicious. Um, I'm not <laughs> I'm not happy I'm this happy. Yeah, because you are no. now going to start collecting scotch. <laughs> That's awesome. Sure. So, so cool. Uh, hi, Shayla. I love the bottle of Connemara behind you. So I'm going to do a Connemara 12 versus Connemara yeah, so uh, non-age dated. I actually love the Connemara 12. It's not the cash strength. It's just the regular. I wish I could get a bottle of cash strength. That's the one thing. I just can't find a bottle. But I need a I, bottle of cash strength so bad. I freaking love the 12 year. Like, I like the non-age dated. Oh, yeah, the 12 but the, the non-age dated is way though. smokier. And the 12 year has this, like, pineapple, like, charred pineapple mm -hmm. thing yeah, going on. And it's like, totally what the hell? I love this. So, yeah. yeah. It's, it's real. I drank almost most of it. I have to review it before I finish the damn things. My right, problem. right. Because it's yeah, really have, good. I just have a sample of it, sadly. But it is mm -hmm. fantastic. I love it. That it is. Uh, Lafroy is just great freaking whiskey. That's what it comes to. I down. really like this one. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sugar cookie. That's probably accurate. <laughs> This for is sure. True. This is true. For but sure. uh yeah, I have a, a lot of them. Of course, the good news is you know, Netflix and like you know, and like uh Amazon Prime and crap has eliminated me buying lots of things, which take that's up true, yeah. So which is great. So I don't buy a lot of them anymore. And of course we got one of those movie passes for Cinemark. And so we usually go there like, well, not so much obviously with COVID, but no, prior no, to that, no. we were like every Tuesday because I have five dollar Tuesday nights and we'd go to the movies. Oh, that's cool. Which was great. Yeah, whenever I before COVID, whenever I would go to my mom's, um, normally when I go, it's either like Mother's Day or somebody's birthday. Yeah. That's normally when I try to fit it around. And we would always at least at some point uh do like a, a movie night and sure. there's a ton of kids, my little brother and sister. And then um, my step brothers. I have two step brothers, and then me and my sister. So it was a ton of kids, but yeah. um, that was always like a really fun family time. Absolutely, it's that's always so a good cool. time. But yeah, you can't beat five dollar Tuesday. That's just like no, yeah, because I want to go because you see the Fast Nine, so I can see that. So I haven't watched any uh, Fast and Furious movies ever. You know what the problem is? Because when they came out, you were like three. Probably. <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> because the first one came out in 2001, and we're seeing when I was like in college. So, you know. And I was born in 1996. Let's see. So, you're so five. yeah. I was five. That makes sense. But so you were like not giving a crap. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Vin Diesel and uh, what's that other guy's name? I can't even remember. Wayne Johnson or Paul Walker? Paul Walker is what I was trying to think of. But... No. Yeah. Unfortunately, he died. I know. So. Yeah. That was um I did see that little clip of them like doing a face regeneration of him yeah. in the movie. Um so that was kind of cool. I don't know anything about the movies, but that was kind of neat. So they're pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, uh if you have old tires, they don't they don't make it. So that's what killed them, unfortunately. Yeah. It wasn't speed, it was shitty tires. Barn door. Oof, barn door has a I haven't seen him in a long time. I know he I emailed him and he just said life has been so busy but he is sending me a cigar pack of nice. loveliness and i'm so excited <laughs> so cool. next time i go up i'm gonna be able to try some yeah i used to always smoke cigars but they do they do not end well for me so oh yeah like how so uh well i get really freaking wasted on cigars and ah gotcha it's, I thought you meant like you smoke too many of them or something, or no? They they don't interact well with blood pressure medication, and you get really jacked up, like way worse than being drunk. And it's Ooh, okay. very bad. Gotcha, you end up gotcha. like you know sleeping down the street on someone's sidewalk. It's bad news. Oh, so okay. you, I'm not allowed to smoke anymore. I, 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 <laughs> like I you get blackout I'm drunk on on cigars. <laughs> well, when, you, when you're smoking the kind of crap I was like Otaro Fuentes Opus X's, and they're like, and then some of these other crazy like nine inch cigars and shit. So oh, yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. I just went down to the. Um, the I can only get Cubans down here because just life. <laughs> um, so I don't get any of those. Um, you know, like Alec Bradley or anything like that. Um, yeah. But I just get little 
like smaller guys. Like I got an Olivia um, G series and it's just yeah. like a little, like, like a 50 or something. Yeah. Like, Cause I don't like smoking like big ones or like super thick ones. Cause yeah. I'm just like, I can't smoke this much. I'm just, sure, sure. <laughs> it's too much. So yeah, I've just been getting little ones, but. Yeah, that works. Yeah. I used to smoke a lot of the rather large, heavy ones and unfortunately yeah. and no more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pr prior to blood pressure medication, it was fine. That and that, they do not get along. Oh, so so we're on. Are we going to Ardbeg? Yeah, let's go to Ardbeg. Ardbeg. Let's right go to Corvecian. <laughs> so excited, you guys! I know. This is your first time Corvecian, right? Yes. Oh, I'm excited for you. Yeah, this is my favorite standard Ardbeg, so that's why I chose this one for you. Fifty-seven point one percent. It's also a cool about Arbeg is they were the first female distillers probably in the world that we're aware of back in the 18th because everyone else unfortunately died. So they had to take was over. Was it the, the war draft or something? No, this was like 1840s. It's just oh, that okay. there were the only females left in the family. So they were oh, in wow. the and they ran it for, oh my gosh, like 20 years. I remember uh, with one of some history, they were saying a bunch of men got drafted and then so women ran the distillery. So that's I thought that's what you were talking about. World War II, oh, wow. That's true. They did. Wow, wow. But yeah, of course, this is also you know the first distillery that's in space, which of course why they had the Galileo edition. But yeah, they spaced with 2012, came back in 14. Um, you know, they've won I think four or five whiskey of the years with their stuff. They've done a lot of really, they have a lot of really cool history. So you know, it's Eric, a fun. Wait, one. did Shayla say she was born in 1996? Yes. <laughs> she did. She said she's a wee baby. Regrettably, yes. <laughs> Just, uh, I, I was in high school when you know you were born. It's great. Yeah, it's but yeah, I, it's kind of similar to Eric's story. Not exactly because I am not a sommelier, but um, I got into whiskey like through wine, or I was into mm. wine before I got into whiskey. So I actually wanted to be a sommelier. That was like my oh, first okay. dream job. Yeah, um, yeah, and I worked at a vineyard, and uh, mm -hmm. it was just so fun. I just loved it. But yeah, and then eventually got into whiskey and just went crazy. So kind of like Eric, but not as smart. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of wine. Not as much as Eric obviously has, but yeah. Also, I don't know anywhere near remotely enough about wine. Eric knows all as far as I'm concerned. Me neither. But yeah, we belong to a couple wineries here. And I don't know. I've got a few hundred bottles of wine. Yeah. But they're good. We, there's a lot of wineries in Texas now, so. <laughs> what? God. Wow, I'm really old. Okay, guy, it's fine. Like, uh, Roy is what? He's like 51. Like, I'm just a young in the industry. Like, you just know. young. Yeah, it's not yeah. that you're old. I'm just younger. Uh, you're young enough to be my granddaughter. I get that a lot. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's all good. Um, oh, Barn Door is uh, smoking a Southern Draw. Jacob Ladder right now. Don't know what that is, but I feel like I've heard it. I guess it's me. Young Whipper Snapper. Yeah, but the Coravacian, of course, is a basically a giant whirlpool that sucks ships in at the top of Jura, and that's what it's named for. Oh, cool. A lot of people, lot of people have died there. But that's what it's named for. Oh, I love it the smells way like yeah. heaven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah this is right the <laughs> Okay, I have to I have to sip this right now because I'm oh, dying. So. Do it then. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers to one of the greatest standard whiskeys you can find. Yeah, no. What it's the just, fuck? <laughs> yeah, because I got a mini ball that's oh my gosh, probably like ten years ago. Oh I'm like, I must have a full bottle in my life. Okay, guys. Now I know okay, so I knew I liked Ardbeg. And everybody's like, you have to try the Cory of Reckon. You have to try the Cory of Reckon. Or they say Oogie. Like, Oogie Doll yeah, or yeah. Cory of Reckon. That's all I hear as soon as I say Ardbeg. Now I know why. Oh, my God. Oh, so <laughs> this is, like, one I, of the I'm best like I've ever had. I really like Cory Reckon better. It's a little bit higher proof. It's just, to me, it's a little bit better. But, you know, it's also, it's not Sherry Cass, which, obviously, oh. it's each his own on that. But I like Sherry Cass. I just really like this whiskey. I just think it's freaking great. It's, uh, uh, it's seriously one of the best peated whiskeys I've ever had. It's like oh, yeah. so it. well balanced. There's mm -hmm. like spice, it's heavy there's a heaviness to it. And it's it's not like meaty in the sense of like flavor necessarily, but mm -hmm. there's like a meatiness to it. I don't know. Oh, it's so amazing. Oh Josh is asking uh okay who do I have in the fight tonight? Okay. Um here hold on actually just one sec one sec. <laughs> okay. Hold on. 
You got to call your bookie now. No, <laughs> no, oh my gosh, I do not bet. Uh, I, I, we went to Vegas once, and I mm. do not like gambling at all. Uh-huh. Like we just went to Vegas just for fun, like to go to Fremont Street, yeah, yeah, and, you yeah, know, sure. all this stuff. And he was like, my husband was like, come on, just like, just bet a little bit. Let's go to like a little slot machine and just bet. He doesn't like it either, but he was just trying to get me to experience it. You get the free money from the house. That's what we and, do. Oh, right. And yeah, you get like the, you do the little free drink thing or whatever. Yeah, it yeah. was fine. It was fine. But I lost like $5 and I was like, this is it. I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Let's see. But you got to read a bunch of books on it so you get good at it so you can win money at it. That's right. The whole point. Oh, yeah. Okay, so sorry, I'm just looking at the. Okay, so I think Sean O'Malley. Um, I don't know about the women's one. I don't know either of them well enough to say anything. Um, I feel like Greg Hardy is probably going to win. I don't know. Ty could probably Ty Tuivasa could probably knock him out, but Greg just looks more in shape, so who knows? Uh, and then I think Gilbert Burns is probably going to beat Stephen Thompson. And then I don't know for the main card. I feel like Dustin. Is just like he's had more reps recently, so I feel, and he's in good shape. I mean, Connor could easily, you know, knock him out, but I feel like Dustin might win. But you can never really count Connor out, so hard to say. Hard to say. Those are my tentative Who calls knows? for the evening. <laughs> All I know is he sold a shitty Irish whiskey and made a ton of money. <sighs> yeah, good so job. Sad. Like he, I wish you could have, you know, done a better job with that. He did a great job for himself financially. He did great. I know, that but I just mean, like crazy. Yeah, I just mean like in terms of quality. <laughs> Supposedly the four year is better, but I can't find the four year to try. Oh, okay. I really want to try it, but I can't find it anywhere. So it's like, well, crap. Who yeah. knows? We'll see. Yes, IC eighty six. If you haven't had Corvecian, Corvecian is definitely on your list to try. Then for sure. Okay, choice. so just out of curiosity, I've never seen this before. But how how much is this? How much does a bottle run? Not bad. It's like sixty seven. What? It's not expensive. Oh my god! I felt like you know because I know some art bag stuff can get really. Yeah, crazy. yeah. This isn't one of them. No. It's, oh wow. It's reasonable for for that price. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said this is my favorite of their core range. It's oh, freaking god. great. Yeah, their whole core range isn't expensive though. I mean, I know is like six. I'm really excited to try the Ludol. Like sixty five. This was like sixty seven. I'm like, for two more dollars, I'd rather have this. This does, and I noticed it with the. I think I noticed it on the Ardbeg ten that I had in a blind flight. It, it this doesn't have it as much, but there's a little bit of like a floral uh thing on mm-hmm. the palette. I don't know if you get nice. that, but yeah, no, there's floral. Get a little bit. To me, it's got this like periwinkle note on it. Maybe that's what I'm getting. Yeah, it's a little bit of flour, a little dough. Yeah. And it's like that grilled pineapple and ham and bacon, and it's freaking delicious. This is so good. This is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. <laughs> I just love you more and more every stream. I'm <laughs> just like I know. I try my best. 18, forget <laughs> like uh Barolo cast hazel burn like yeah I keep thinking it right. doesn't get yeah. better than this and there's like yes it does yeah. it's that <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything crappy no That's no I funny. know you wouldn't uh how how old would you say is the Corey do you know for sure I don't know how old it is okay. I would guess it's twelve you might guess I would say yeah. Yeah, obviously there's got to be younger stuff, or they would just put twelve well, on right, it. They put twelve. Sense, but... My guess is they probably mix some like five year in here, which is probably gives it the extra peatiness that it has. Yeah. Um, but I, I would guess it's something like that. I would not be surprised if it's probably averages around twelve. But I would For guess sure. like, I would say the same. There's some five or something in there that which you can't, which is why you put in the way you because that's the only way you're gonna get that oomph of that peatiness is right stuff. No, it's nice because, yeah, you can definitely tell that there's some age stuff in there, but then there's that vibrancy that you get from that younger stuff, and it's just a really well-balanced. I just right. I just love it. Exactly. Yeah, that's okay. All right. I'm getting a little too excited. I already grabbed the glass of her I probably need to calm down. <laughs> all good. Uh, Thomas Jones, you are correct. It is Bushmills on that proper 12, but I think yeah. he chose the shittiest barrels possible. Yeah, like the cask management is non-existent. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, you don't want that one? I got that for cheap? Oh, give me that crap. 
So Julie, I think she is a member of the Ardbeg cult, is what we call it, Julie. That's true. Um, you should join. It's a it's a wonderful place to be. Yeah. Um so yeah, everything that she's like, or a lot of stuff that she's liked has been Ardbeg. The stuff before, I think she had a Corey yeah. Reckon or an Oogie, and she really liked that. So um Julie, I think you're in the Ardbeg cult, official uh inductee. Like. <laughs> she has become a member. Yeah, there we go. All hell, All hell Ardbeg, there we go. That's right. Your, your membership is irrevocable and your member for life. Yep. All right. So I know you love that. We got to get you to Octomore. This is Brooke Lottie, Octomore, the world's most heavily peated scotch. Now, this is not the most heavily peated one they made, but it's one of the heavier. One of it's the 209. Heavier, yeah. The 309 from 8.3 is their heaviest yeah. BS. So I knew it was a 300 something crazy, but. but yeah, this one's 59.5%. Obviously, it's non-show filtered. It's non-colored. It's five years old. This is Scottish barley. They come out every year, and they are freaking magic. Dark this, Cove, that's what it was. That was what she liked. Yeah. Oh, Dark Cove is spectacular. Yeah, yeah. This is just one of the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eric Waite knows I'm gullible, so now I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not that bad. <laughs> now put it um, up here, see if you can hear the ocean shape. So I've actually had, um, so somebody sent me, oh God, who was it? I'm going to forget. I don't remember who sent me the Brucladi. Dang it. Uh, it was Whiskey Fancies or Whiskey Witch. I don't remember, son of a bee. Okay. I hate forgetting who sent me samples, but um, I had a Octomore 11.1. That was okay. the... The one I had, yeah. and I don't know what the PPM on it was, but I was so surprised at the like balance that it had. Mm -hmm. It was like so I called it delicate, like it yeah. felt so delicate. Well, like there was peat, but it was just. This is like, about to kick eleven point one the nuts. Right, I feel like this is not going to be that. <laughs> this is not that eleven point one is yeah, it is easy delicate. Yeah. Octomore, this is not that. This is back in the day when they were really wanted to hurt you. Really going for it, yeah. Yeah, this was so actually the This show. is this is probably Jim McEwen. I wonder if eleven point one is Adam Hannett or if that was still Jim McEwen. I don't know. That'd be interesting. If anybody I mean, knows, if if eleven point one is Adam Hannett and he maybe is doing a del more delicate style, and then Jim was doing a crazy. Uh, could be because that's twenty sixteen when that would have been laid. Oh back. yeah, and he retired in twenty fifteen. So. So it prints certainly possible. So it may have been when it got done. Yeah. Wow, this smells fantastic, though. Uh, have I had Port Ellen? Yes. Port Ellen lives up to everything. Everything you've ever heard about Port Ellen, it's all true. It's fucking amazing. Okay. I thankfully at Liquor Hound's house, I've had I've had a 15-year and a 22-year Port Ellen. Oh, my God. They're, they're mind-blowing good. That is some of the most spectacular whiskey I've ever had. Port Ellen yeah, is so, magic. Um, Alan, 11.1 uh, is definitely more timid than we wanted. I I I think because it was my first experience with it. Yeah. Uh, I really loved that delicate thing. I was expecting mm. to have my face ripped off, and I was like, "No, this is delicate and wonderful." So I actually really enjoyed the eleven point one. But yeah. Oh yeah, Doug says it, it is Adam Hannett. Okay, that's what. It, that's oh, what good it. to know. Yeah. Okay, so that may have been yeah. a little bit of see, why. And you can also find that on Black Art. You'll see the same thing happens when he changes over to it. Yeah. It doesn't taste the same. Right, and um, I have a, a bottle of Briclotti, the classic Lottie, from Jim yeah. McEwen. This mm. is the Jim McEwen bottle. Right. And I bought two bottles because I freaking love it. And which I haven't year, had which year it. Yours? It was 2015, right before he retired. Nice. So it, it feels like a special bottle to me. Um, and yeah. it's mostly First Fill X Bourbon Cask, which I just love completely mm. X Bourbon Cask matured whiskey. So, uh, well, it has a tiny, 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 like two casks or sherry. Oh, right. Um, it, all the little but, fun things they do with it. Yeah. But I'm I'm kind of nervous to try an Adam Hannett bottle because I just don't think it's going to be as good, sadly. <sighs> yeah, yeah. But it like is. he said in that Water of Life movie, you know, um, if if I if Jim said you have to make this whiskey exactly like me, and then I followed that, then Jim hasn't taught me anything. He mm -hmm. hasn't taught me to be my own person, you know. True. So it's sad because I really like Jim's style, but it's good that he's doing his own thing. So. Mm. Okay, I haven't tasted this yet. I need to. Oh, this is what this is what really got me. Like oh, I said, wow. I love Roy. Oxymore is just magic. Mm. It's crazy what uh, five years wow. does for this. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, told, I say the best, for, highest P, highest proof PPM. Wow, and the best one of the bunch by far is this one. It's it's not even close. It's wow. Yeah, it, it's that good. I'm, I'm sleep speechless basically. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love this stuff. It's so freaking good. It's delicious. Wow. Yeah, this is just magical. Yeah, it's 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 odd because it's so it's way peatier, obviously. Like oh yeah, yeah. Much way peatier. It's less. It's not delicate. I would not describe this as delicate. Like oh, the no. eleven point one, it's more robust. I would say. Mm -hmm. And there's I don't know what the makeup is of this, but I would say I, that there's some amount of sherry cask in this or something because yeah, I, there's a little like bit of that. I don't know. I looked it up, but I'm sure there's sherry in here just based on the taste. Yeah. I just don't know what it is. I haven't done any research on this one. But yeah, 8.3. Oh my gosh. 8.3 blows this. That's the thing is 8.3 blows this one out of the water. Right. The Isla barley stuff. That's I haven't had any Isla barley. Yeah. But. And 8.3 is my wife's absolute favorite scotch of all time. I bet. So yeah, we finished. We have one extra bottle, thankfully, but it's still sealed. So yeah. we finished the rest of the. Uh, for our review, we finished it off to review it, the 8.3. Oh, okay. Steve, I totally agree. Yeah, the black art thing where he like threw away the note and he was like, no, I'm going to do my own thing. That was super cool. I am very bummed that he's using way more wine cask in his, uh, the classic Lottie, because I just like that ex bourbon with a tiny bit of sherry. He's doing like yeah. a bunch of different stuff. And um, it just, it's just kind of sad. Yeah. I, Cause I just love the classic Lottie the way Jim made it, you know? Mm -hmm. See, yeah, I agree. I agree. CR one. Oh, that's good. Would shit. you say it's Moorish summer V pub rehearsal? Yes, it is Moorish. <laughs> hmm. For sure. Jeffrey, yeah, Jeffrey you must make it. On my bucket list still. Oh, you haven't had it. Oh yeah, dude. You should find it. Just buy it. As long as it's you know within a reasonable price range, and it should be. Wow. And these things used to be on the shelf for like one fifty, and now they're like two fifty or more in some places. It's crazy. So but they've gone up too. But yeah, if yeah, you can find an Octomore, buy it. It's worth it. Yeah, got... he's got such hitters. I'm surprised he hasn't tried it yet. That's crazy. He must not be able to find it where he lives. Or or maybe that's the, the problem. But That's probably the problem. Yeah. Wow. Man, I don't know which one I like more. I think it depends on your mood. Like, if you really want, like, a nice, delicate Ooh, totally. listening to jazz dram, <laughs> which I love jazz, so, like, 11.1 in .1 jazz, and this is more, like, I don't know, a little 80s rock or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, this is just, yeah, this is this is everything you could you would hope it could be. This is what Octum are supposed to taste like, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Yeah, two thirds of party source. Yeah, that's not bad, Jeffrey. That that's about right. Okay. Yeah, God, I can't. I I love that people have sent me samples, and I can't think of actually spending that much on a bottle. It like hurts my heart to think about spending that much on a bottle, but it is wonderful. Um, it's it's yeah it's yeah. Thankfully, I've got. Thankfully, we know Brooke Lottie pretty well. Uh, thankfully, we get a lot of their samples. They send us a lot of samples from the distillery. Ugh. They're pretty great. Uh, proper twelve. Um, <laughs> Johnny smoking gun. Malort. I don't know. The fuck. <laughs> the answer is I would never listen to Justin Bieber. Probably. <laughs> yeah, correct. Eighties uh, rock and jazz and these are the some, correct things. Some rap. Those are those are the only things that I listen to. So. Oh no, I don't listen to rap. I listen to country music. Oh, along, do you? Along with eighties rock and. Yeah, I listen to eighties rock and jazz. Those are my two like. That works. The main, the mainstays, and then I do have a little. It'll be fun to get a ball Octomore and send it out to like ten people who've never had it and do a stream with it. That'll be very entertaining. Oh, that would be cool. I was thinking, Jeff, too. If you do end up like, if you think, if you're thinking about buying a bottle, you might be able to do some Ooh. sort of like, you know, like uh. a bottle share with it. Like, if there's like five people that want to try it that haven't tried it, there may be a way to like. If we you do have, that like, sometimes group with or, you know. uh, more expensive bourbons and stuff. Yeah, we'll usually do bottle share. It's, it's too expensive otherwise. Especially some of the yeah. higher allocated stuff. Oh my gosh, 120 euros. Oh, Dang, it's a good price. Man, that blows. That sucks. 400, yeah, don't pay 400 for it. That's crazy. Yeah, 200 used to hurt my head for a bottle. I wish it still did. I know at first I was like, okay, like, 
forty dollars. Like forty was like my max a for lot, a while, right? and then yeah. it was like fifty, sixty, and now it's like around eighty. It, yeah, I remember going. It's not right. necessarily my max, but like my standard is about right, eighty. Right. Yeah, I remember thinking this is probably I don't know, fifteen years ago. I'm like, who would spend sixty bucks on whiskey? That's just stupid. <laughs> yeah. So Donner Brass whiskey, I love jazz. Like I love jazz more than any. Like eighties rock is a close second. But um, my, so I I have vinyl records, and my first record uh, was a Dave Brubeck album, uh, and then I had a Miles Davis album. I still have them, but um, those are my like first two. So I absolutely love it. I play the saxophone, not very well, mm. but yeah, I love jazz. <laughs> so have you seen the movie La La Land? Then? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh my gosh! You need to watch that. If you like okay. that, you'll like that a lot. Oh, it's, cool, cool. It's, I've it's, heard good it's, things. I just never. It was kind of one movie. of those things. I just never. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies ever. ever. It's it's okay. fantastic. You like oh, you like cool. that? You like that? Oh, Cheech Arnolino is in the house. The freaking drummer. He's not a jazz drummer, I don't think, but he's um, a drummer. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, um, whiskey on four. He just put a. Uh, he just put his link down there. So if you want to hang out with Cheech and see him wear cool Kiss T-shirts, just go over there and subscribe. Mm. Now this is true, Eric. You cannot see through the opaque bottle. This is true. Doesn't it have a little strip on the back, though? Nope. It's oh, just... that one doesn't have a strip. Oh darn! It's I thought that that one. one uh, maybe that's something else. There was an opaque bottle. It had a little strip so you could see the fill level. I know Brew Claudia doesn't do it, but I thought Octomore did. Now Brew Claudia likes you to guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny. Um. My live reviews are very good. Are you talking about me or Matt? Uh, I hope to see more reviews in the future. Okay. No. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but thanks, Thomas. No idea. <laughs> I should put my, I just didn't, I didn't think about that, but if you guys want, I will put my Spotify, all my Spotify playlists, because I have jazz playlists and mm -hmm. rock playlists and stuff. If anybody's interested in that, I'll put those links in description boxes from now on. Or you can just stalk me on Facebook, whatever works. With the antidote, it's a good. It's not a bad idea, Sugar Kitty. It's not a bad idea. Johnny smoking gun stream, be out. But I feel like people would like that though. Yeah, <laughs> like, would. yeah. Use the force to detect fill level. I know. I was pouring, so I was doing that celebration stream with uh, Roy because I'm taking over on the V Pub, and uh, I was like so jazzed and whenever i'm jazzed i pour bacardi the classic lotty and it, I, it felt heavy and i was pouring it and there was like a little stream coming out and i was like god damn it <laughs> i'm almost out <laughs> mm. you have a backup at least i have a backup i have one unopened backup oh. and that will not be open for a very long time because yeah. sad <laughs> uh luna over in germany Hello. it is probably pretty late where you're at right now like 12 yeah, o'clock or one in the morning or germany. something so. yeah. Good night, Luna. I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Yeah, it's like six, seven hours, something like that. Maybe seven yeah, or eight, think, depending where she's yeah, at. Yeah, I think Germany. Germany, I think it might be seven or eight. Yeah. yeah. Seven or eight, depending where she's at, I think, in Germany. Yeah. It's yeah. late. Oh, man. This brew, Claudia, is the friggin' jam, man. All right. I'm going to mix it all together. Okay, I'll do it too. Thomas Jones, Whiskey Central. I subscribed to your channel on Thursday when uh, I was on the VPUB. Oh, cool. Okay, last little announcement for the night, guys. If you don't know, Roy has given me the reins to the V-Pub. So we're going to be doing a summer V-Pub, same time, Thursday nights, 3.45 Central Time, uh, over on my channel. And we'll be doing a Aqua Vitae-esque style uh, nerd stream about scotch. So I'm pretty dang excited for the next, like, six weeks until he gets back from vacation. Then he'll take the torch, so... If anybody doesn't know that, then now you know. Okay, now I gotta blend them. Yes. Us, Shayla. She wants to know. That's all good. It's twelve forty in Germany and Netherlands. Okay, thank you, Jean. Now we know. It's here, not in Germany, kid. All right, let's see. Well, I kind of don't want to pour the bow more into it. <laughs> Do it. All right. 
Just it's a gonna tiny get, It's going to get killed by everything else in there. It's I know, I know. It's not going to matter. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, Eric took like a month off, huh? Oh, oh, in Finland. Very nice. Uh, who's in Finland? Marcus H. from oh. Finland. Oh, Marcus H. from Finland. That might be the guy that from Finland. That would make it easy to figure out. He's the guy Maybe. from Finland. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, so. Let's give it a go. Mm. Oh, it smells really fruity. And like vanilla-y. Yeah, and super meaty. Mm. Mm. Okay. Hmm. No. There you go. For more isn't that bad. I get. Yeah. No, I just it's, it's compared just to everything right. else. It's kind of like. Ugh. Yeah, it doesn't taste bad. It's just the rest is so much better. That that's the issue. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, you know. I saw how much Matt really enjoyed uh, the t d Dickle Tabasco. That was hilariously Oh, funny. my God. It's that not that bad. It's really not. I actually, we did a blind of a bunch of them, and, and it really wasn't that. I think it actually might have been the second place. Oh, wow. Okay. I I was really curious because when he kept saying it, it smelled like vomit, like I started like gagging just hearing him talk about it. And so I was like, this is probably not something I should drink, but. May have, and he did you say it was know. like a little bit of an overreaction. Next time you come to the U.S., I can send you a sample if you're really oh, that interested. Okay, well, well I'll try it. I, I want to try uh, the Maybe terrible ones. If, I don't think it was that hey, Dan. bad. Hi, I Dan. was shocked. I thought it would be awful, but it really wasn't that bad. I was like, eh. Okay. It's, it's nothing special. I want to drink, but it's not like, it's not like, like now Glyph or something like that is awful. That's so that. that that's worse than oh, Malort. I keep hearing yeah. about Malort being terrible. I've never tried Malort. I haven't tried Dickel, Tabasco. I haven't tried Johnny Smoking Gun. The I fun thing about Malort is, the more times you've had Malort, the more you're like, man, like that. It, okay, the first time it is awful. But once you get used to Malort, eh, it's not that big a deal. But it's not bad. <laughs> DC, it's delish. I can confirm. <laughs> See, Malort's range, core range is mediocre. Yeah, I think that's the yeah, sad it, thing. It, you know, yeah, the core range is not. Yeah, it could it could be so much better, and they it make could be really good stuff. Other ones, but to try it exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. <sighs> fish key, fish key, fish key. Have I ever had fish key? I don't think I've had mm. fish key. I don't think so either. Hmm. It's Ooh. actually a pretty decent blend. Yeah, no, the blend's good. Well, it's mostly a bunch of crap you like, so not right, really. right. But sometimes it like when you blend all that stuff, it flattens everything out, mm. and it, it's a little bit flattened, but um, there's still a nice amount of flavor. Yeah, there. yeah, it's it's still good. Yeah, I it like it. Like a little bit more oomph to it, but a little more spice good. or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, just add a little more Octomore problem solved. <laughs> uh, okay, I just threw Ardbeg Ten, Port Charlotte, or Old Ballantrin, Long Row. Mm. And lagging together, and it's quite good. I nice. also may be a little bit Shay Lambert at this point. Probably. Good job, Jane. Good job. <laughs> so, you know, those are two I actually want to, like Bellatron, I've never had, nor the Finlagen. I like to try both of those, but I don't, they're hard to find here. I don't think Finlagen even come. I think that one is, might only be in Europe. I think so, we, yeah. Why don't you get that one in the I've US. never even seen that. Bellatron, yeah, I, I know you can get it here. I just never found one anywhere near me. I'm pretty sure that's the one that, um, Tome and Tool is their peated version. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I do like Tome and Tool, but different stuff. Was it Angus Dundee? I think yeah, Angus Dundee's who I think that. so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Them and uh, Glenn Cadam. I want to try Glenn Cadam so freaking. Oh my much. god, Glenn Cadam is so good. I didn't know you had never tried. <sighs> well, there's so many I haven't tried. <laughs> it's okay. You can't send me everything all at once. No. <laughs> that box would be crap. What was it? What was it? How much is the last? 32. Yeah, 32. We're in that one. Yeah, 32. Yep. So, yeah, uh, all we. So, so next week is the Bourbon Junkies. We're doing a Bourbon Drinker Try Scotch. Mm. It's funny because I had the idea to send them scotch. Uh, and I know they've tried scotch before. It yeah, wasn't, like, we got them to try scotch, scotch with us back when they were like at less than 1,500 subscribers. We were yeah. on the show with them. Yeah. And then because I gave them both a 12 pack at the Bachelor's Ball a couple of years ago. Like, oh, cool. Uh, the funniest part was after that, both him, both Dan and Sean really liked the scotch amazingly enough. And they're like, and I guess they went out and bought a bunch of it since, which is hilariously funny. Yeah. And but like, it's funny because I, I, I hadn't seen that old stream, but yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, that would be cool. January of 
Was it 20, I guess? Yeah, January. Oh, wow. It was a long time ago. Yeah, that's back when they were really much, way small. <laughs> yeah, I know. They, they totally exploded. But, but yeah, I, I think I found their channel when they were at like less than 10,000 subs, which was still, it's still oh, a lot. Oh, yeah, but, uh, we've known them before was, they were a thousand, yeah. That was, that was around when I kind of found, just mm. found Whiskey Tube in general, but, you know, okay. found them. Uh, but yeah, it was funny. I I sent them that flight, and then they were doing the single malt whiskey society stuff, and I was like, oh dang it! But it's okay. I mean, I knew they had tried scotch before. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. So yeah, next week we're gonna have uh, the bourbon junkies on. We'll be doing a stream there. Um, we're gonna do a Patreon hangout and a little cigar smoke after, and then they might not do that, but I I will do that. Um, yeah. And then next week after that, we're gonna have Matt back on, and we're gonna do an American malt whiskey. And are we also doing the blind? Yeah, we'll do the blinds. Yeah, on the 31st, we'll do the two blinds, and then we'll do six American peateds. It's oh, going to be It's the 31st. It, yeah, yeah we that's right. Because my kid's karate belt has Totally forgot. Yeah, so a couple but, weeks after the Bourbon Junkie stream, we'll have Matt back on. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, that'll be... I'm, I'm really interested to see what you think of this. I think you'll like all of them. They're just going to be vastly different than I gave you today. Yeah, yeah. I'm really excited because... I think I've only had a couple of American single malts. Like I haven't got to experience mm. a lot of them. Um, I yeah, had a, a, a fan send in a, a Patreon send in a a bottle of um, I can't remember that one that Jason just recently did. It was an American single malt. Um, it was on one of his live streams, and it just sounded good. And so somebody sent me that a bottle of that, um, huh. but I haven't got to try it. It's still up in the up in the states. So oh okay, you don't have it. Yeah yet. Okay. yeah. So yeah, it's it's good stuff. Yeah, and the funny Sugar thing is, it, you can always send me Glenn Cadam samples. <laughs> yes, I haven't tried them. And after that, um mm. Ian, I can't remember what his name was. Ian, he's from Angus Dundee, but mm. he was on the stream with Roy, and it was just like so cool. He's so well spoken and all the whiskeys just sound good. So yes, please sure. Yeah, because I've seen because I was because Jason Whiskey Wise over in Germany, he had uh Claron, who's their <laughs> is their rep over there in okay. Europe. Hey, Alan, how's it going? Good to see you. He's, in fact, Alan's drinking a Glen Cadam 13. Very nice. Yeah, I've only had oh. the 10, 15, and 21. <clears throat> I would love to try more of their stuff. I just I can't find it. Four teeth. Thank you, John. You have such a good memory. I do not have that good of a memory. I knew it was Ian, but I couldn't remember his last name. Mm, that sounds so good. Yeah. Just even the 10. I just want to try oh, the 10. The 10, like, 10 is probably one of the best tens there is in the market for yeah, real. It's, yeah. it's spectacular just like i love just straight up x bourbon and it's yeah, like it's, i don't think it gets better than that just so like good. 10, 10 is straight up x bourbon like sweet they're just really hard to find and the 15 is discontinued yeah. the 21 is a bitch to find and the yeah. 10 i got i found two tens in my entire life and i bought both of them oh so they're they're just yeah, it's really gonna be hard, hard. To find. it's hard over in the states i think i think it'll be easier in europe but uh, Andrew Butler, check your email. Okay, hmm. I will well, after the stream. We're actually about to end the stream in just yeah, a, a few second. minutes. Yeah, yeah Jaime. Uh, yeah, that, whiskey tube will not help your list. It will only get longer and make your wallet much lighter. Yeah, I actually try not to keep a list because I basically just want everything that I don't have. So I'm. Oh just well, like, yeah, that's the problem. The answer is, oh, I don't have it. Then it's on the list. Yep. Yeah. Or at least you want to try. At the minimum, you want to try it if you don't want to bomb. Yeah, for sure. Even if it sounds horrible, you're like I have to try I it. Is it really yeah. horrible? Or to it just—it's kind of like Floki, which actually is not bad at all. Um, people are all like, "Oh, it's disgusting." I'm like, no, nah, it's not. It's just—it's just the concept gross, but it's really not that big a deal. Yeah, I think it's good. John Lucasine, I freaking loved the Glen Cadam 15. Was a bit underwhelmed with the 10, probably because Roy overhyped mm. me. Yeah, that's hard when he's like, this is a hero whiskey. In your mind, you're like, oh my God, it's going to be like yeah. the greatest thing ever. And it's like, it's a hero whiskey for a 10 year old. <laughs> my <laughs> problem it. is, when I got in, it was with the Whiskey Vault back in like, was early 17, something uh -huh. like that. So back when this was like when nobody was, nobody existed except for them. Yeah, the yeah. Panels. And so it's like, and I was able to track down a lot of their old stuff before a lot of stuff got popular. Yeah, I've had friends cool. go to Europe and pick me stuff up too, like Fedekar and Fiora and stuff. Oh my god, oh, this looks nice. amazing! I yeah, have yeah. a, I think I have a Fedekar. So, um, the Whiskey Mystery, uh, mm -hmm. Phil and Deep over Whiskey Mystery. Yeah. Um, so he gave me, a, he has like a little spreadsheet, and he was like, "Go ahead and yes. just like pick what you want, yes. and I'll yeah. pay." Yeah. You know, I, I paid him for like the mm -hmm. little bit of it, and um, he sent me a Ralphie. Glenallachy port. That was one I really wanted to try. Um, it was like some port edition from Ralphie. I don't know exactly, but 
That's cool. And then he also sent me a Fetter Cairn from the year I was born. Uh, it was in 1996, so I just thought, heck yeah, that's so cool. So I, I wanted to try that. I think my old Twitter is an 88, and it's oh, really, wow. it's a 28 year. It's amazing. Oof. Yeah. Oh my god. I hear whiskey for 10 years old. How many? Ha The African whiskey uh, with malt smoked with elephant dung sounds interesting. Ooh, I can't remember the that? name. Of, I can't Road remember the name. Hole. Uh, Roy covered it on his channel, and I don't remember. I my problem is Roy found where when I'm working, so I generally, don't, unfortunately, don't get the chance to use it to watch him. Yeah, yeah. Um, shoot, I don't remember the name of that one. Roy I remember exactly what the is. bottle looks like, but I don't, I don't know the name. But I'm sure yeah. you can look it up, and it's. Oh, uh, I'm sure I can find it. Yeah, Baines is the only one I had from like South Africa, and Baines is pretty good. It's a single grain. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, I got a better grain fewer after watching the whiskey vault. It was really good. Nice. Okay, so oh, good. Cool. It's a wish I still had it now. It's peated. It's amazing. Oh, that sounds so good. I really want to figure out what the name of that African whiskey is, and then we'll get off. <laughs> so if somebody could post that in there, please. <laughs> That'd be great. Find us the elephant dung whiskey. Please. Oh, okay. And just last, uh, what do you have? What do you have going on? Please let us know what's going on on um, Whiskey Crusaders. We're live on Monday nights every Monday at about nine nine fifteen. Just depends with my kids' karate schedules change a little bit up. Uh, I think this week we're probably doing some uh, Buffalo Trace, uh, Mash Bill 1. And then I don't know what reviews because we're shooting them all tomorrow. So I haven't decided what we're going to do yet for this week for reviews. Oh, gotcha. Okay. But Tuesdays and Thursdays are whiskey reviews and Saturdays are liqueur reviews. Today's was uh, blueberry pancakes oh. liqueur. So, you know. Oh, dang. Okay. I'm going to need to watch that. <laughs> it was very entertaining. It, yeah. It's, not, it's uh, by, made by Mama Walker, which is a Hermie Walker brand. It's their breakfast series. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so it's just weird stuff like that. But yeah, we always we always find different things, and we have when we only have like twenty five years more left of content so far. So since we have around three thousand different whiskeys to try, so that's a good problem to have, Matt. It's a good problem to have. <laughs> right. Unfortunately, we're also behind on donations by about a year and a half at this point. Yeah, we have a lot. That's insane. Yeah, I mean, there's at least a couple hundred sitting over there I need to get to. So crazy. It's, it's, it's pretty wild. But, yeah, we have a good time. We have a lot of fun. We review everything under the sun. We're not afraid of any whiskeys. At least me and Will aren't. We'll try anything. So Yeah. Sarah's not a with. big fan of Pete, but Sarah no. does do most everything else. So. Yeah. It's not like Pete. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'll drink pretty much anything, you know, so I'm not afraid. It's all good. Very cool. All right, and Steve just dropped a link to their chat. So, guys, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Yeah. And We're almost at yeah, oh, yeah. That's fun. Oh, Discord. We're always in Discord. So if you guys want to talk to us on a regular basis, we're in Discord. Yep. Yeah. If you want to go to the Whiskord, that's available too. I'm on Whiskord as well. Um, so you know, if you want to chat with any of us, we're over there. So right. um, yeah, go go check them out. They're almost at 2.5 thousand subs. Hopefully we can hit it in the next Hopefully, like, yeah, we'll get close. With this. Hopefully. We'll see. I mean, it's you guys are super duper close. So yeah, I need elephant crap. I need to figure out how to get that. I definitely need that in my life. I need a friend to pick me one of those up. That'd be awesome. Yeah, so um it's it's the uh on Java. On Java. That's the that's the yeah. name of the, the whiskey. Um so yeah, and I think Cheech may have put a link into it. I maybe. So okay. yeah. Okay, guys. We've gone through eight whiskeys. I need to go eat food. And I'm sure Matt probably needs to go do something too. Uh I'm probably good. eat food. We ate, we ate prior. It was oh, always okay. a good I ate prior. prior. I ate prior too, but I always do a after. I Saturday is just my cheat day where I get to eat whatever I want no, because no, no, whiskey. <laughs> it's a good choice. You need to suck okay, it guys. Up. So, um, Dan and Julie like are going live in about twenty minutes. Steve A just put a link into the chat. So if you guys want to take mm. a little rest, recover, go grab something, and then go over to like time to just kind of have a little hang, um, you can do that. So. Love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Matt, for coming Thanks on and giving on. me all this wonderful whiskey. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Cheers, guys. Have a good rest of your weekend. Bye.